Okay, so are we ready to actually play some D&D? I think we're ready to play some Dungeons possible. and Dragons. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. <laughs> so, guys, who wants to play some Among Us? Oh, this is so funny. Oh, thank you for the 10,000 bits, <laughs> Chuckles. <laughs> oh, Chuckles wants me to, oh, show feet. That's all I got. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower. And through grand halls, past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken, something blighted had come hither. Foul as nightshade creeping thither, from yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood. A doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear. A song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal. A rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill, from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest, with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch light hour. Play the music. I waited for Nikki to do the intake of breath before he was going. Yeah, that's the key. That's the key. Is he even playing? Yeah. Something's playing. Really I softly. hope so. Is it, is it loud enough? It's is a little it soft? Too soft. Oh, I yeah. just turned my. Oh, no, I just took a oh, screenshot. Is it Fair? <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Okay, now we're ready to play DD. Uh, you all stand within the. <clears throat> Uh, within the portion of the carnival that you've just experienced uh, most recently. Uh, you are near the dragon flight rides and you have just rescued the um, the dwarf that had been almost carried away by one of these rogue dragonflies. And in the course of all of this, um, Kremi notices some movement and he is told by Northwind um, that something strange had happened off to the side and with his um, with quick movement he blasts his eldritch blast into part of the underbrush and you all go to investigate to find that there are three feathers that are that clearly belong to a Kenku. It is at this moment that Northwind <clears throat> informs you that the carnival has been plagued by a rogue Kenku for a while, a Kenku that has been sowing distrust and causing havoc and attempting to lower the overall mood of the carnival. He looks at you all and, yeah, man, he's just kind of a buzzkill, you know? Mm. 
I, I mean, what, what 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 kind of buzz is are is is he is he killing? I mean, basically is he like hurt your bottom them. line or no? Nah, like you is he got a terrorist? One... I mean, what are you trying to say? Huh? I mean, you're saying this Kenku's causing trouble. And I'm trying to ask what kind of trouble he's causing. Are you suggesting that the Kenku is politically motivated? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, aren't they like... Do I know anything about the Feywild, actually? I would say probably not. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you was going to say you love unicorns. Oh, yeah, I love unicorns. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm curious about uh, Kremi's question as well. Is uh, uh, What is the nature of the buzz killing that he is doing? Well, nobody really knows much about the Kanku, if I'm being quite honest with you. And, like, I'm not supposed to say this, but he's, like, really frustrating Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people are trying to find them, but no luck so far. Was the mischief that we just experienced something that was like? Oh, yeah. If you found Kanku feathers over there, that is totally signs that the Kanku, like, messed with their dragonflies. Well, you could have killed that dwarf. Uh, that that's yeah. That would have really lowered the mood. Oh, he could have killed a dragonfly. Even worse. Seriously. Hmm. Oh, those poor beautiful creatures. Uh, Kermit, I have to ask I you. I mean, it's not nearly as. I mean, I shouldn't say this, but it's not nearly as bad as what happened over at the uh, over at the <clears> Hall <throat> of Illusions. That poor mime. Did a, did a mime die? Oh, worse than death. <clears throat> oh, he got punched so hard that he kept pulling a rope that wasn't really there until he died. Huh? Does, he, does he persistently haunt anybody at the Hall of Illusions? <laughs> Is that what happened to him? Well, I mean, he's persistently at the Hall of Illusions. Uh, oh, so... they left the body, huh? <laughs> it's not good for business. Well, I mean, I guess if whatever fella accidentally... Pun I mean, intentionally punched, but accidentally killed the mime. <laughs> if they were subsequently haunted, they wouldn't hear much. Look, I'm not sure how important that distinction is, all right? I have I'm no call idea right every time. what you guys are talking about. Oh. Look. Krami may have, may have accidentally killed a Kenku. Oh, no, you totally didn't kill a Kenku. Yeah. What we're trying to ask is if we take care of this Kenku problem for you, is there some kind of... Genuine reward. I mean, you could ask Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, but I don't know if you can even get an audience with them. They're like, I'm sure they'd be pretty stoked. Mm. So if we're proactive, fellows, and we think that we can, you know, grease some wheels here and maybe use that as a front to steal a pocket watch. Can we attempt not to kill the Kenku and perhaps just capture him? I know that your beams destroyed this bush. Uh, had it hit the Kenku, do you think that the Kenku could potentially have died? Let me check. <laughs> no, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there's um some bloody berry jam. Oh, that's totally not bloody. It just berries that pop. Oh, gosh, I was thought it would just be like uh, my yeah. uncle used to make. It's just cherries, berries. Bloody oh. It tastes quite delicious. That's what it tastes like more. <laughs> oh. You know, you can't just stop it just one little dollop. That's what they call it cherries berries. I gotta get it back to the rest of the dragonfly rides, and I'm probably gonna wake up red soon, so. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, yeah, sorry for the rude comment from my friend about his lovely scat jam. Oh, yeah, I feel, I feel awful. I'll just, you know. Yeah, he's been crying in his uh, hollow since he got here. I'm very... I'm very sorry, and hopefully right. he enjoys my pistachio peace offering and apology token. I'll let him know. All right, I gotta go shackle up these dragonflies. So All right. See you later. All right, bye. See you. Bye. And he turns and slowly walks around and heads back, and you see that he's, like, um, taking some ropes and helping to calm the dragonflies and <sighs> getting them put back into their, their harnesses and back on their individual lily pads as a line uh, makes spreads its way out from the dragonfly rides. You can see that there is quite a lot of commotion around here, but it's slowly starting to calm down as um, Northwind gets the ride under control. As I was saying, Grimmy, I think we should try to... Do any, everything we can to just capture the Kenku. If uh, we kill someone here, I don't know if there are carnival laws that might be applied or carnival jails. I, I, there's nothing on the map, so perhaps we would just be disappeared as well. I don't want to... And how would that affect the mood? 
I mean, if it's like a righteous killing, is that like, yay? That's what I mean. If this guy's a pest and he's causing problems with the carnival, I mean, you know, the thing is kids done to pickpockets and ne'er do wells that have slunk around our carnival. And other kinds of pests. Yeah, really any kind of mild inconvenience. <laughs> they meet the same fate. Yeah, just say, hey, kid, take care of it. <laughs> and then his fists are all bloody. <laughs> Does your beam have some sort of stun setting? Um, uh, no. <laughs> Do your fists have some sort of stun setting? Yeah, actually, I can stun them. I haven't yet, but I, I know that I can. <laughs> I just go straight for Gail. <laughs> Frosty, how's uh, the old after the taffy? Oh, am I feeling uh, uh, unoiled in my mouth? There's still a lingering oil taste, like, especially when you rub your tongue around your teeth. It's almost like <sighs> the crevices in your mouth have retained that oil uh, taste. But as you continue to oh. drink water, it washes it away. Oh, I think it doesn't need water. It'll go away soon. How do I? Good. I'm glad to hear that. How do I look? I mean, oh, yeah. you, you have still, still been blue. recently punched by Gideon. Oh no, I, I, I became uh, very shy and bishonen, and then very what handsome. Yeah, what do you keep saying? And then bish, bish very <laughs> protagonistical, and then I became a horrible eldritch abomination. Mm -hmm. Combo, really, it's a matrix. <laughs> uh, and then I ate some taffy. Yeah, and, and now you look like yourself, just with a swollen half of your face where Gideon punched you. How do I look? Oh, about the same. Back to normal, <laughs> except for the yellowing bruise here. Yeah. That's good. I mean, I still have a strange desire to sail through the ether on my membranous wings, <laughs> while also simultaneously confessing to Senpai at the festival, but having it get drowned out by the fireworks. But <laughs> other than that, I feel back to normal. Do they serve senpai here? <laughs> That's a good question. I've had pumpkin pie. I've had cherry pie. I never had no senpai. I don't know that sounds like the beginning of a song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the map. I'm wondering. I mean, oh, never mind. <laughs> Just let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Uh, speaking of moving on, I would propose we go back to the feasting orchard. You recall there was a maze. Oh. Would you guys like to explore said maze? It sounds like an interesting test of our memory and logic. We're really going to platinum this whole carnival. Oh, right? yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to us. We'd have to walk all the way back if we went all the way to the, the gondola swans. Well, there's a waypoint on our map here. It won't stop flashing until we go at least explore it. <laughs> oh, there's a piece of hood up there. How are we going to make it up full feet? Just follow, just follow the yellow pips. <laughs> oh. Oh, and a golden scotula. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a spider and a skull. That's too spooky. <laughs> so All right, lead the way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, we're going to the maze. <laughs> I'm just going to let you go. We sprint. <clears throat> we sprint to the maze. Wild Unchained. You make your way back to the feasting orchard, and while you are making your way, I'm going to assume that you're keeping your eyes out for any signs of Kenku. And you, yes. you yes. notice nothing. Um, you see no signs of feathers, no signs of anything else. I would, however, like you to make a group oh. uh, perception check oh, I need for a me, please. Sheet for this campaign, don't I? Oh, who'd say? I need you, a character you're still sheet balancing, for this campaign. You're still balancing that tiny pumpkin so cutely. Oh, you're so such a good circus owl, baby. I hope you make it to the end, Hootsie. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm envisioning. Do you remember that corgi? Never happened to her. Corgi Hazel, or that had the like that, that would, just, would, would like would literally balance anything on her head. That's what I'm imagining Hootsie doing with this tiny pumpkin. That's very cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't there That's a rabbit cute. with a pancake on his head? Also, oh yeah, there's normal. a pancake rabbit. Uh, what was it? Perception? I believe it's a 19. I will enjoy a 21. I will seven. Uh, 23. Perfect. Um, what you stun move? <laughs> what you what you notice? And this was a group, so this works all for all of you. You all balance down you. mace. Thank you. Um, though you don't notice a Kenku, you do notice multiple suspicious individuals, and it's not enough to make you 
investigate them further or try and follow them off into the crowd. But it's almost as if you notice a few people who seem to be watching you intently and people who um, seem to dart in and out of your eye line the moment you make contact, visual contact with them. It's um, almost ghost-like in the way that they appear and then disappear quickly. So um, not in a flirty way. N- not in a flirty way. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Oh, I'm sorry, Frost. No. Uh, did, you see, did you see that one? Did you, they looked away right when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked away. And, then, <laughs> and with that, you do make your way back to the feasting orchard. You see that another round of the fairy cake eating contest is underway as the announcer mm. calls out um, to to continue um, another person down. Uh, only only ten more to go. Look at them. Look at them feast. And you you oh. watch on. Um, you you hear of the announcements that the um, that the cupcake chat has arrived back at the feasting orchard, and a small crowd uh, crowds around you as they all <laughs> stare on in awe at Gideon and his cupcake chat shirt, which is very clearly too small for him. Mm-hmm. And like a midriff. <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah, yeah, tube top oh, yeah. with small wings, with yep. tiny fairy wings. Just a recreate. Uh, a Janafi picture. happy yeah. trail. Right <laughs> <laughs> no. A lot more than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Probably what Gideon. <laughs> it's more of a happy forest. Like, it's like, like Bob like Ross said. Like, like, a happy tree needs a little friend and another friend and another friend and another friend. <laughs> I'm picturing flames like a hot, on the side of a hot rod. <laughs> like Guy Fieri yeah. style. Yeah. Oh yeah. Guy oh, nice. oh, nice. Fieri. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, you're right, Frosty. There are some perverts here, but let's go to the mains. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> and you, they do hinder your movement through the uh, feasting orchard, but not enough to stop you on your path towards the um, through towards the orchard maze, the corn maze. And as you make your way towards it, you see that it feels very autumnal here, uh, no. almost as if this part of the um, this part of the carnival was pulled straight from the court of autumn itself. No. Mm. You see the beautiful gold and red leaves on the trees. Ooh. That uh, as you look at them, you realize that the golden leaves are actually almost metallic mm. in nature as they uh, as they reflect. A, it's nighttime. There should be no sun here, but this feels fully illuminated as if the sun were in the sky. Uh, the weather is a very brisk 60, and um, it's almost sweater, sweater weather, but not quite unless the wind picks up. It's perfect. You can smell pumpkin in the air, cinnamon, clove. The um, the ground is lined with, um, with uh, hay bales that people are sitting on and enjoying ciders and candied apples and things of that nature. Uh, and you make your way towards the corn orchard. There is, appears to be no, or the, the corn maze, there appears to be no person taking tickets as you are able to make your way in if you so choose. Well, it doesn't cost a punch. <clears throat> so we can do this as much as we want. We can like, really get our money's worth. Oh, our two gold pieces and my love of unicorns worth. Well, there's limited time in the carnival, and I imagine that uh, if we're still in the maze, we'll be trapped there forever at the end. So let's try and complete it as quickly as we can. Oh, it's eight days, so we have eight days. Oh, is this the first day? I believe this, this is, is the, the last final day. day. Oh, it's the yeah. final day. You, you have eight hours in the we carnival We may be, uh, maybe all of us <laughs> will just be caught in the corner alone. Maybe the Cancun's in there, too. Keep an eye out for them. Or you oh. can blast through it like you destroyed that bush. I feel like oh, property damage is probably not something I want to be charged for in a place like this. Well, Gideon can throw us all out. Oh, that's true. But then he's all in, be too. forever. <laughs> oh. It's a sacrifice we'll have to consider when we get to that point. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't know Gideon was so selfless. No, I wouldn't do that. I would not. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Wouldn't. I walk. I start walking in. And, uh, okay, for us to lead the way. Uh, left, right choice. Or? You are. Uh, yes, you are, you uh, make your way in, and you are surrounded by these gigantic stalks of corn. They are so congested together that you can't see through them, but there is a path. Uh, it's a nice cobbled path that leads its way in, and you are eventually confronted with a choice. Do you go left or do you go right? I would propose that we go left. Any reason why? Eh, it's, it's the first one. Uh, it's on your left. Easy. 
No, that makes a lot of sense. Let's go left. It's a strong argument. I can't yeah. I can yeah. argue with it. Whatever you fail to say, don't follow Frost. All right. You're choosing left? Mm-hmm. Choosing left. You make your way towards the left, and you continue to walk and walk and walk and walk, and you are not met with any other choices for five, ten, fifteen minutes. Uh-oh. Before you finally come to a fork in the road, you can now move left, right, or forward. All along this path, you've been seeing pumpkins with um, carved faces, uh, or faces carved in them, uh, candles melting on the inside that have been nestled on uh, straw bales and inside parts of the corn patch. You've also been met with a plethora of very same-looking scarecrows. They all, uh, all with turnips on their heads, burlap sacks um, over the turnip as they appear to be fending the, um, or scaring away the birds that might feast on the corn. Well, mm. it certainly doesn't seem like a trap or uh, that it'll lead to combat. So uh, <laughs> we, we just have to pick one of these three directions. <laughs> Which way looks the most turnipy? Turnipy? Mm. Why is that relevant? <clears throat> I'll just... It felt like the right thing to ask, you know. <laughs> All right, well, I, I got to, what do you think? I got to choose the the, the first one. Uh, do you think either of these uh, paths or uh, look turnipy? Hmm. No, they're all the same. Are they? I mean, in the sense that, uh, in in relation to how turnipy they are. I mean, I don't know. Are they? Is one more turnipy than the other? Are, are you? Do you yeah, know what I'll, to I'll look. I don't know. Roll an investigation <laughs> check for turnips. Oh, tw- another twenty-three. Yeah. Mm. All right. You look towards the middle path, and you see that uh, quite quite a length down the middle path, there appears to be some sort of. Um, like turnip, not turnip fountain, but it's like multiple hay bales that are stacked together with turnips with uh, faces carved in them all around it. And at the very center, there is a, a scarecrow that's holding a lantern on either arm. Take a look. Oh. Turnips. There we scarecrow, go. We've got fella holding lanterns and stuff. That feels kind of turnipy to me. A lot Same. of turnips down that way. Yeah, let's go say hello to the scarecrow. I'll remember this choice in case we have to double back. And uh, I continue to lead the way <laughs> you make your way down the down the path and you find yourself in what <clears throat> appears to be an outcropping and it is exactly as crummy had described there is a circular pile of hay bales in the middle that is uh, piled high with these turnips and pumpkins that mm. have faces carved into them they all have a uh, varying emotions and um the emotions range from happy to angry to sad uh to jubilant and all of them have a single candle on the inside slowly burning down and in the very center there is um a scarecrow that seems to be significantly larger than the ones that you've seen elsewhere its arms are pointing to the left and to the right its fingers are pointing straight out as if motioning in a direction but its face is looking straight forward on either one of its outstretched arms wrapped around its um its wrist is a uh, corded rope and from that hangs a lantern inside there is a turnip both of them completely completely whole Mm. but they glow with an unusual orange light do i see any crows you do not see any crows Good you job, also Scarecrow. do not see any exits <laughs> from this space. Oh. Oh, not even behind is. us? Are you looking behind you? Oh, no. Uh, sure. As, well, you, I, as yeah. you turn around to look behind you, you see that the corn has completely closed off the way that you'd come out. <gasps> well, I think we've done it. Oh, no. Trap like rats. This is part of some kind of like stupid puzzle, right? You'll get it. You, 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 your intelligence is higher than his, right? Well, to be fair, it's just more of a logic puzzle than like a word puzzle. So I will no, oh no, no. Stand with you, Frost. No, I'll uh, give it my best shot. Um, right. I've always preferred parsnips. Okay. Carry on. You should have said that before we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll walk up and I, I'll, I'll look. There are no, there's no egress from this. There's no way. You out. are in a circular outcropping, 
Um, there is the circular pile of the hay bales with with all of the essentially jack o' lanterns, but in pumpkin and turnip form. Um, some fun trivia for you that the mm-hmm. jack o' lantern originated as a turnip or a parsnip. I know. Oh. I've seen faces, and they're way scarier. They are turnip. way scarier. <laughs> way scarier. <laughs> way scarier. <laughs> um. And you said that hanging from both of the wrists are... So he's pointing are straight out. out faces um, and there's a lantern that is dangling from a corded rope. And inside the lantern, there is a turnip <clears throat> that is completely whole, but it has a strange orange glow on the inside as if there is something burning inside of it. Oh. oh. Can I reach the uh, lantern? You'd have to climb up on the hay bales, but sure. It's easy enough. I get up there and I will open the lantern mm-hmm. and I will remove the glowing turnip. Mm. You do that. And as as you as you mm. reach up, you actually stumble a bit because you realize that this scarecrow isn't stationary. It is on a essentially a lazy Susan. And it can be rotated. And so you you are able to, What's to catch a lazy your ground. Susan? A lazy Susan is the thing that you would have on a table that's on a platform and it spins around oh, so that you can. A lazy Susan. Yeah, a lazy yeah, Susan. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that was called a lazy yeah. Susan. Or you, you can do pottery on. Yeah, it. I don't know. I mean, I, I've no, I've heard the I term. Sure that was a bitter night. I've heard <laughs> that. I mean, I turned it into a bit because it was I a disruptive feel, question. I feel like I can understand Mike's general curiosity because he had that look on his face like, "Can you please tell me what that is?" Yeah. Standing on a lazy Susan. I mean, I've heard the phrase "lazy Susan," but I didn't know that. Was I, I have a small dagger. You do, and I am going to. Um, I, I'm going to attempt to make my own face. Oh, In make it a happy cat face. I'll do my best. Um, and having said that, I will attempt to draw like a serious pondering face. Okay, <laughs> uh, I would like you to roll a performance check <clears throat> and a sleight of hand to Ooh. see how well you are mm. able to create what you are looking to do. Okay, performance, that's where I'm a Viking. And don't forget that you have twists. Yeah. Mm. Please um, don't forget that you have twists. I think, oh. I think oh. I'll use one. Let me check out the <clears throat> sleight of hand. Oh, let me get mine. Okay, so sleight of hand is gonna be a 19, okay. and, I'll use a, and I'll use a, a reroll of the d20 for the performance, because it was a three, a 12. So a 12 and a 19. Uh, the twail, the the twail, the twail, the twail, the twail fails. I need you to roll a d100 for me, please. Oh no! Sixty-six. Oh, I'm so Execute close to the good 66. number. You die. Oh. Uh-oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my body hits the lazy Susan, and I rotate just a little bit before coming to Your leg kind of drags. I guess don't cut the turnips. <laughs> you don't die. Che- the, check his pulse. That was, that was, yeah. Come on, losers. That was for the twist. Oh, Lord Veda. <laughs> Derek, you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, 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 oh, you're fine. <laughs> you got you. <laughs> I fell on my dagger. <laughs> oh, God, your innards are coming out. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> this is why we get nothing done. Frost is the turnip. Oh, maybe that's the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do this? Here we go. Come to uh, I lost it. The concept of death is unbearably sad, so that you burst into tears whenever it comes up, and you can't stop thinking about it. On top of that, what did you get for your sleight of hand? Twelve. Your sleight of hand was twelve. Yes. No, your sleight of hand was nineteen. Your sleight of hand was nineteen. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. Nice. So your your ability to carve this turnip is is impeccable. It looks amazing, but you weren't able to get the expression that you were looking for, that that pondering, that sense of wonder and and, and quizzicalness. Instead, it looks sad. Mm. It looks a little bit depressed. And as you stare at it, you feel that way too. It's almost like you've carved an emotion into this pumpkin or into this turnip that is reflected back at you. Well, I was able to uh, 
carve the face. It doesn't. That was the opposite of what I suggested. No, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do a very good job. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> what? We all die in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the that's the cycle of life and death. Are you alright, Frosty? This like awaken something in you, Frosty? Are you crying? <laughs> oh, ah, uh, there, there. It's, um, it's fine. It's, it's okay. Fine. It's fine. It's okay, it's Frosty. <laughs> it's okay, Frosty. You'll probably live. You'll probably outlive all of us. It's fine. You, I mean, you only have like nine lives. Or yeah, something? you got nine lives, and so after. You live on, probably immortal with all of your mind powers after we die. Uh, so you'll outlive us and then we'll die and everyone that you have ever known and all your loved ones will die, but you'll be alive! There, there. There, 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 there. Nine lives means I have to die nine times. Oh. <laughs> That's a good point. That oh. sounds a little unpleasant. I think I'm just thinking once. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh God! <laughs> would you like to uh, enjoy a nice, cute jig from Hootsie? To cheer, to cheer, Hootsie, would you like to cheer up Uncle Frosty? Okay. I would like to see Hootsie's dance. Okay. Hootsie, all shuffle up now. Now, make sure you don't drop that pumpkin, Hootsie. It's very important, probably for not sinister reasons, on account of you being a child. Hootsie will do a very nice, pleasant uh, dance. Thank you. Perhaps Frost's favorite dance that she would know. Oh, yes. That's my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't know what came over me. I Something about, I don't know. He, some, someone can oh. put it back in the lantern or... or uh, 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 do we want to put it back? I mean, what's glowing inside of it? Did you get oh. down deep enough? I Maybe think you got one of the candles. Like. <clears throat> no, you did not get down deep enough. Yeah, give it to me. Oh, here you go. And you, you do pass huh. it, but it does not change huh. the way that you're feeling. Mm-hmm. I want to bite the face off and then oh. spit it out and try to like get to the middle of the Tootsie Pop. Okay. <laughs> uh, you bite the face off and you you begin to feel just absolutely nothing. It's almost as if you had attuned by carving into this thing to begin with. You had attuned it to yourself and your emotions. There's no face on this any at all anymore. There is nothing. You are just blank, empty. What do I find? <laughs> you you find that you rip the bits of it off and it just smooths over. And you see that there's still that glowing ember on the inside. So it didn't I didn't get any closer to it. I would say maybe a little bit closer, yeah. Can I like use my thumbnail to try to like scoop that out? To, like I wanna see if there's anything inside of it. Yeah. If, yeah, so I'll just you know. Try try making a face. It seems like the only logical thing to do. There are all faces here. I mean, that's what you did. Nothing happened. Besides, sort of broke down a little bit. Became very introspective. <laughs> it was weird. A little, little battle men melancholia. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, of course. No it, judgment. No, it did. Uh... <clears throat> it's okay. We all have to face our own mortality, Frosty. Oh. See, that time it didn't do anything. Oh. So you went from feeling overwhelming sadness and and crying to just feeling empty and absolutely nothing? Yes. Okay, that's about normal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a little yeah, after That's about yeah. right. It sounds about right. Okay, you bet you're a normal person, Frosty. Ah. Uh, <laughs> but the face was very mirroring uh, the expression. Uh, mm. if you, uh, it's give, give it another shot. So someone someone else uh, attempt with perhaps the other turnip or, uh, or with this one. Well, if we can't... Uh, Master the face. What does the scarecrow's face look like right now? It's completely neutral. Oh. It's a burlap sack. Oh. No, it's, it's a turnip with a burlap sack, like over it like a hood. Oh, oh. what'd she say? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of spooky. I'm gonna look at all of the shot. I'll throw you the turnip. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, I got. Oh, fuck! Oh, I fall off the emails. <laughs> ah! I got it. See, I got this, it. This is why I don't need forced natural ones. I got it. They do this shit for themselves. I got it. Don't worry, don't worry. Everyone, relax. I got it. Hootsie, 
I don't know how you balance it. I couldn't even pick up a, a turnip that, uh, that Uncle Crummy handed me. You dug your finger into it to see if you could get... I did. It was very clearly a uh, piece of, like, burning coal. Mm. Oh. And then it covered back up. Does it, like, kind of grossly regrow? Yes. <laughs> and it looks like it is slowly, where you bit off, it is slowly starting to regrow out and cover itself with its is turnipy it, skin. Is it getting, like, a sad face again? No. Oh. Some kind of like burning coal in there that seems to be perpetually glowing. <clears throat> Maybe just for the sake of making a spooky glowing face. It seems to me mm. that um, I had an intention of drawing a pondering face, but I failed and, and it was uh, a much sadder expression than I intended. Frosty? Can you can you create the expression that you have intended in your mind? And if it's correct, perhaps that is uh, going to reveal a path from this outcropping? I'm not saying you're a bad artist, but what exactly is, how would you convey a pondering face in something as basic as a turnip carving? Well, that's a good point. Uh, perhaps I bit off more than I could chew. Yeah, I mean, if you were gonna, you know, if you're whittling and you're, you're going real granular and like a block of wood, and I'll pull out a block of wood, right? You could get real nice and lots of detail, but if it's just a turnip, if you try to get detailed, it'll rot away. You can only go, that's what I said, happy kitty, eye, eye, little nose, and then smile, smile, whiskers, done. Why are you carrying around a block of wood? Well, I mean, I'll carry out a bunch <laughs> of blocks of wood in case I feel like whittling something. He's a whittler. Never seen him whittle before? You ever seen me whittle, Frosty? Right. How long have we known each other? I forgot. It's one of my favorite hobbies. I forgot. I had forgotten. That's what he and Scrooge Dave bonded over. Yeah. You know? He was uh, a scrimshaw. Yeah. No, I'm, he I'm, gave me a whale bone. I'm and then we also covered. scrimshaw. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, with the whittling being such a, a master, uh, why, why, why don't you give the turnip a try? Okay, uh, a turnip. So you know what, Frosty? I'm going to take my own advice here. A little sec. I'm going to make a happy kitty. <laughs> All right, roll a dex, uh, roll a sleight of hand and a performance check. Okay. okay Can he add anything because he's proficient in woodworking? I <gasps> would say. Oh. I would say yes. You can roll at advantage. Oh. oh, wow. For both of them? Sure. Oh, that's a 19. Let's see if I can nat 20 it. Oh, an 18. Okay. Oh, uh, nice. So, uh, a 19 plus... Oh, shit. <gasps> Why is it taking so long to load? I'll roll. I'll just roll the next one. 18 and a 4. So Crushed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it, it is easy for you. And you have... Uh, there have been, I would say, when you were working at the Witchlight Carnival, one of your tasks was to carve some of the turnips and the pumpkins oh, yeah. when you were working here. And yeah. so it's easy for you to get back into that mode as you quickly um, carve the face of the happy kitty. And you are, you carve deep enough uh, and well enough to get down to the coal. And as the face illuminates, you watch as the coal pops and uh, and ignites and turns oh. into a wax candle with a flickering flame. Ah, there we go. Frost, you immediately feel overwhelming jubilance. You have never been happier in your entire life than you are right now. However, your twist of fate was still the death thing. So you are very, very happy unless you think of or have a realization about death. Oh, I see. Okay. They were two separate things. I conflate them. Got it. <clears throat> oh. Wow, you're doing a terrific job. Thank you. See, it's a little happy kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, and the see- candle reveals itself. Hot damn! <laughs> 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 and suit! <laughs> One of the nine hills. Whoa. <laughs> you feeling all that, Frost? I feel great. I think we solved it. Look. Well, he was chasing the world before. Do you, do you smell burning feathers or anything like that? <laughs> Not since we saw the kanku. <laughs> 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 oh, that was pretty good, Frost. A little concern. I'm concerned, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. That's the funniest joke he's told in the whole time we've known him. I'm just saying, if he loses his marbles, he can explode our minds just, with, just by looking at him. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hoochie, would you like to do a nice pleasant uh, like calming jig? Maybe like some Tai Chi top number. Anyway, uh, I'm going to place the happy kitty in the lantern because I think our scarecrow friend only had coals when he needed candle. There you go, Mr. Scarecrow. 
you place it in and you still feel overwhelming happiness. But you and you watch as a face appears on the scarecrow, ah! a wide smile, incredibly happy, and nothing happens. Well, I as we solved the puzzle, I assumed that perhaps uh, uh, this would do the, the trick. But I feel elated. I feel much better. Oh well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Frosty. I'm glad that uh, you're not really dwelling on death so much. And I got all. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can we just stop saying the D word, please? <laughs> the D word? Yeah. Probably shouldn't touch that other turnip either. We carve any more faces, he's definitely going to kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> if we all could just stop saying the D word, that would make me much happier. Or the K word. <laughs> yeah. Because then I have to edit it to say unalive instead. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. definitely going to play with our minds until we have fits in the grass yeah. and somebody's got to take us out of here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, are you saying, Crummy, that we... Oh no, the lingo that you use at uh, the carnival, advertiser friendly. <laughs> exactly right. Ah. You have to appear on the surface that you're advertiser friendly and hopefully they don't notice the rats. Cause they're a bunch of suckers. I mean. And they're a bunch of rubes and we'll take all their money, you know what I mean? That's sort of the deal, I mean. Ah. That's why we're all here, right? you know, isn't it? I really love unicorns and I gave these, these jerks two gold pieces. And we had 500 gold pieces in the sack. Oh, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> Hoochie's doing the dance again. Oh, Hoochie, it's a very nice tape of a pumpkin on your head. You're so dexterous. You're like a little ballerina acrobat. Anyways, I'm going to go look at what other options for pumpkin. I mean, turnips. I mean, pumpkins there are. Mm-hmm. Do we see like that there are a specific number of faces or just in general there's expressions? They're very okay. expressions. Okay. So, I mean, you know what? I uh, It was a long time ago mm-hmm. and I was drinking a lot of beer at the time before I found purpose with Hootsie. Uh, <laughs> and so it's a little foggy. Mm-hmm. But I actually used to carve the uh, turnips for like the children. So like, they always like, oh, could you give me a happy kitty? And I'll say, oh, sure. That's what I, so that's what I did there. Is that what goblin kids sound like? I just, that's what children sound like. It's true. I love a happy kitty. <laughs> Those little fuckers. <laughs> oh, grandmama, please get me a sweet. From the confectionery. I hate to lean on you once again, but uh, <laughs> perhaps if you, uh, there, there's two turnips, right? There were, yes. One mm. in either of them. Can you uh, work your skill on the other one and perhaps make a sad face? Well, hold on. Why, why you... sad? Why not just too happy? Or one that's incredibly sly. Clever. Matching faces? I'm well, they all show it out. They all show Oh, I'd love to be a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe if they're both happy. Uh, oh, Scooby Dave taught me a fun trick with mermaids that I didn't know. <laughs> oh, it looks like a mermaid. That's amazing. <laughs> Those are the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have to drive Are you carving the like turnips? Yeah, I'm going to the mermaid. Yeah. Uh, can, can you the can thing, you do though. a sleight of hand and <laughs> a um. A, and a, yeah, the other thing. Uh, natural nineteen. And, ooh, natural 14. Uh, oh my god, why is D&D Beyond not loading? I wish I had my iPad. D&D Beyond! Hmm. D&D Beyond, it's D&D. Well, uh, I believe my sleight of hand is- Plus should, four. Plus probably. four, so my sleight of hand should be a, performance will be plus four as well, I think. So it'll be a 20, uh, 23 mm-hmm. and an 18. Oh yes, you're, you're easily able to carve this mermaid. Um, and as you do, you begin to feel this sense of, what What? what does her face look like? What expression's on her face, Mike? <laughs> I forgot to draw the face. Oh yeah, what is a mermaid? <laughs> Did you forget to draw the face? <laughs> Why'd you draw her so suggestive? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, well, a lot yeah of you know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna DMV, take yeah. What would Scurvy <laughs> Dave? What would Scurvy <laughs> Dave teach Cricko? Is more you, like, yeah, like, 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 yeah. yeah. You, like, you, you begin to grow a pair of breasts. <laughs> really, really nice, large breasts. Oh no! And you feel <laughs> incredibly <laughs> lustful. Oh. Technically, shouldn't grow breasts, but fuck it. Really cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at this tall drink of water. You, me, Ooh, what scarecrow. Are we? No, no. Scarecrow. <laughs> Look what you've done. Oh, because of Scurvy Dave. Oh, Scurvy Dave. <laughs> Not quite the same as Curvy Day. <laughs> I mean, you could be Curvy Day. Oh, look at you. Yeah, look what's happened to your body. Oh, no, okay. oh, that's ridiculous. My name isn't Dave. I mean... Well, I don't think it needs to be with a pair of those. Curvy <laughs> Draco doesn't have the same ring to it. Curvy um, <laughs> the, um, Can we do better than that? Gargantuan? I feel Gargantuan like after Gargantuan. more recent transformations, I feel like I need to uh, move around very awkwardly and have them defy the laws of physics and do this. <laughs> and then I'll be heavily using the promotional materials. But only show up in a handful of episodes. Depends. Disappointing all viewers who wasted their money on this shitty shonen, likely Mecca of a war. So if we carve whatever in the turnip, it, uh, it affects us. The, the way we, we can carve these turnips and we'll be transformed into whatever uh, magical... Uh, this has interesting implications, if you well, ask me. The, you saw that <laughs> as a I mean, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> to stop, I, mean, I don't know. Turn around. Turn, around. Turn, around. <laughs> Turn around. Not all the way around. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. He's the going off. He's the going off. He's on symmetrical <laughs> evil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's actually very normal. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna right. turn around. Oh, <laughs> well, I, you know they say you're gonna climb a tree, but it says I'm gonna climb a scarecrow. <laughs> Here's the thing: mm -hmm. he carved the first one and it affected you. Yes. And then he carved the second one and it affected him. Is it because you touched the first one first, and he touched the second one first? I, I would say it's very easy to realize that that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what it is. I think that's very logical. Thank God there are only two of them. And, <laughs> ugh. Uh, but we still need a plan. Oh, we have to get out of here, don't we? Yeah, sure. how does this turn up's turning everybody into, you know, I don't know, he's in love with scarecrows and he's gotten more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing about him has changed. His face is still swollen. He just has some great breasts. I just can't even see his face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I come. I'm having a really hard time looking him in the eye. Can you just grab a turnip? I think this is where we all have to participate in order to get out of here. Oh, you. What? I don't. I don't how the turnip? Why don't we just spin this scarecrow till it's pointing the way out of here or something? It's pointing in every direction. That's a great it's on idea. a spinny dial. Oh, after I'm done with him, he's going to be pointing in three directions. <laughs> Quickly, idiot! Oh my god! Oh my god! You did this, Ricky! You did this, Ricky! You did this! You did this! You did this. You did this. Oh my god! No, 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 no! No, no, you, no. you did this! I, this this handle on the scarecrow is appearing out of nowhere. You know what? I'll use this. I use this crank to just spin him. Grab him by the shirt. <laughs> Grab him by the oh, spin no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a trap door. That's how we do it. <laughs> All right, I put my hands on the lazy Susan and I attempt to spin the scarecrow to see it uh, pointing him in other directions. Oh, direction it wasn't lazy all. Susan. Uh, you, you spin. <laughs> you say you're using the crank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm using the crank that's appeared out of nowhere after okay. the new handle. The new, handle, new that's handle that's appeared. You use this new height. handle and you turn the scarecrow easily, but only one of the lanterns is illuminated inside of the. Um, well, one of the turn turnips is illuminated inside of the lantern. His face is still incredibly happy. Um, as you spin it around, he just seems very happy, but it doesn't like click into place or anything. I think I may have it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the, uh, the the mermaid turnip and I put it. The other oh no, my waifu! <laughs> <laughs> She's a collectible! And I'm going, oh, it's so, artistic so purposes. We have very lustful and happy. Very lustful and happy. Okay. You place the turnip into the um into the other the other lantern, and you see as the scarecrow's face changes, it is now incredibly happily horny. Mm. <laughs> and it no, does no. have a handle that appears randomly. <laughs> it's got uh, a giant smile with pink lines <laughs> on <under> it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, 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 it's got some sweat droops. I back uh, away a few steps. A nosebleed. <laughs> oh, yes, it has a nosebleed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and 
But both of the uh, but both of the lanterns are illuminated. All right, I spin it again now that it's a double illuminated. Now that it's super horny. Why? I just thought to myself, well, they'll clearly do happy and sad. This will be fine. And we're here with a fucking scarecrow with an erection and crickle and boobs. He drew a happy face and then a perfect rendition of a horny mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone ducks and ducks and spins around. <laughs> <laughs> But but you do oh. begin to spin it, and it's it spends it spins <laughs> it spins easily until finally, click, and you see that it is facing with its back to you in opposite directions. Um, so you are coming from let's say the north and the south. It is now pointing towards the east and the west. And as you wait, it seems like nothing happens. But then you look a little bit closer, and you see that there are clearly exits to the east and the west. Oh, we still got a fucking choice. That's fine, we solved the puzzle. It's over. Oh my god. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, I think we I think we need to uh, to keep uh, spinning it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't move. He continues to stuck. Oh, no, 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 he's stuck. I, I think I need to, I think he's stuck. I think we need a little bit of, uh, hold on. That's the glue. <laughs> That's the glue. Hey, did that, uh, did that oh, scarecrow... No, just, uh, you guys, you guys go ahead. That scarecrow moaned suggestively when it locked into place, or was that Gringo? I think it was both. <laughs> uh, in, with any sense of direction, do I get a sense of what... Because I would have tried to memorize our path to get here. Mm-hmm. Do I have a sense of whether east or west would take us back to the carnival? Well, I think he's uh, a riding. I would say that <laughs> so I think we go you know that you came from the south, and so you're ch- depending on which way the east or the west diverts, but you would say each side has an equal chance. <coughs> to the west? Is that left? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we go. Let's go. Let's go left. All right. All right. Uh-huh. All right. <clears throat> we All make right. our way to the east. You make your way towards the east. And he's looking you... on in absolute horror. Oh, Do I say west or east? I don't know. West. 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 We're going to go west. We go west. You're going west. <laughs> so you make your way towards the west, and, uh, which is the left. Good boy. And, and as you step out of the the glade, the little, the little circular area, the... Um, the corn grows in behind you, and Gricko's boobs shrink. Your lustful nature fades away, and Frost, you are just overwhelmed with the thought of death. Oh. When it comes up. When it comes up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, it is a very strange uh, carnival. I'm not used to being um, so full of different emotions. It's kind of exhausting, isn't it? I was not a very good re- parental role model there. I... Well, there was a lazy Susan. I was acting more like that crazy Susan <laughs> you matched questionably on. Mm-hmm. And you never should have given her your real number. No. I'm sorry, Hootsie. I hope you can look at me in the same way again. <laughs> I look at Hootsie. What expression does Hootsie have? <laughs> Completely <laughs> neutral. Disgust. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I guess she is an owl bear. I mean, that's kind of normal. Okay. You think this would go back to normal? Then that is kind of like fried eggs on nails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think, isn't that how your chest normally looks? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, that, 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 that's permanent. You. I've got oh. a little bit of definition. Do you think they have plastic surgery in the Fay Wild? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Uh, okay, I gotta I gotta call out fizzy melon juice with the Kels quote. Nikki, we done ruined your campaign. <laughs> Nikki, we done ruined your campaign. <laughs> oh, what a, uh, which what a light callback. is uh, is a bit arms race? Yeah, basically, is that we just you they're know, just trying to one up each other ends. on bits. It never ends. We continue. You do. You continue uh, for quite a while, for about five minutes, before you find yourself at yet another an, <laughs> ne- another juncture. The, ch- the choice between left and right. It's up to you, Frost. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You want all to right, come all right, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Get in, it's your, it's your go. Oh, no, oh, really? Uh, you know what? 
Well, I don't want to touch Greco, but what if I what if I just threw you really high up in the air and you got a sense for where the the center of the maze was? That or would something? be cheating. Perhaps there's a magical barrier what? that could kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, oh. Now, why do you have to go and suggest a death barrier? I didn't he brought that up. <laughs> what would you I say that you were going to murder Frosty what? after you murdered Paul Chuckles? I would never murder Frosty the way I murdered Chuck. Well, the way I manslaughtered Chuck. Oh, yeah, 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 you manslaughtered I did not. Yeah, we made it very clear last time. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early you forgot that. about Chuckles! <laughs> You forgot about Chuckles. That was like an hour ago. Yeah. yeah that was memory is not that great for total intelligence. Yeah. Wow. God. Concerned about him. It's okay. He's at the clown farm. Yeah. Your actions lead to the death of a clown. Well, well what uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it geez. was a clown-like farm in the sense that it was a clownishly run pig farm. <laughs> We gotta get out of this maze. <laughs> Are you a left-handed or a right-handed? No, nah, well, you know, I mean, whichever one works at the time. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Look, Frost, you did, you wanted to come back here. You wanted to finish the whole fucking thing. I know. Left to right. Flip, I can flip a coin. I can roll a die. Which hand did you punch? Chuckles with, they killed him. Oh, it was the right hand. <laughs> this <is> good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Frosty. He's in clown he- hell. <laughs> and they don't have wine, so they're working on his drinking habit. <laughs> He's in a better place. <laughs> Let's just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> and so you go right, and you continue walking. Uh, you have some twists and turns and some other choices that you have to make, and you do make them uh, with relative ease, comparatively, um, before you make your way to a, um, a small outcropping that has two arched doorways. And in, in front of each of them is what almost looks like a shimmering uh, minor image of one is a happy face, the other is a sad. I told you then we should have gone with sad. I should have made her a sad mermaid. I mean, does this have any kind of relevance to Scarecrow? Is this like a new fucking puzzle? I imagine it's going to be another puzzle. Uh, we mm. can try the doors first, but as we approach, one of them's probably going to be like, well, I only tell the truth, and the other one's, I only tell lies. Fuck uh-huh. Hey, Frost, walk up to that. <laughs> walk up to, walk up to that sad face, Frost. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> well, you really I, think I, that's, I don't know what really that's, that's the puzzle? Uh, I walk up to the sad face. <clears throat> Man, you ever wonder about your mortality and just try to comprehend eternity? No. Have you been cursed as well? Why, why are you talking like this? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh. Anything happen? You, you, you cry, but uh, nothing it, seems to happen. It, it's a, you said it's a door. So it's an archway. Archway. And oh. so it's almost like a shimmering barrier. Um, and I equated it to um, something like mirror, Im- or not mirror image, a minor image, where it's like you can clearly see that there's some kind of magical thing in there. It's oh. like wobbly magic. Mm. Um, but it is, it creates the look of a happy and a sad face. I was so picturing like, like an opaque. It's like in a video game. It's how it shimmers. And you know, if you go through, you either need the thing to go through, yes. or when you go through, it'll give an effect. I'm going to attempt to walk through. Uh, and I attempt to walk you through. You attempt to, and you're immediately bounced backwards. Nothing. Hmm. I guess we need the thing. What thing? Uh, hello, happy door. You hear nothing. I'm gonna walk through the happy side because my vibe is being killed. You walk up and you bounce straight off of it. <sighs> hmm. Hello? <clears throat> Happy door. Why don't you not tell a joke or something? Oh. Do you know any jokes? Well, he was crying, walked through the sad door, and he still got thrown back. Yeah, I thought well, that was very Well, he was sad, clever. but maybe you have to make <clears throat> make the door sad or the door happy. You know what I mean? It's not like you need to feel that emotion, but you gotta evoke it. Mm. Hmm. Well, I continue to stand in front of a sad door. Have you considered your mortality lately? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rough. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Uh, and then I, after I attempt to say that, I it doesn't react or do anything. I'll, nope. I'll test the, the barrier and get the pushback again. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Happy face. Well, isn't that kind of like drama? Isn't it like put on a play or something? I would say that upon oh. saying that, you you do think back to the amount of plays and things that you've seen and that those are the symbols of of drama. Oh, oh. yeah. Like a comedy and a tragedy. Yeah, it's sort of the representation of performance. Ah. Depends oh. on what era of comedy shall we enjoy to reproduce, <laughs> Kremi. Well, maybe we could put on a little show, fellas. I mean, this oh yeah, I mean, we, that's we we're great at shows. Mm-hmm. Oh well, I mean, you, there's no one for, like Frost and Mind Read. I guess you could do a little juggling and hootsie dancing. No, maybe. don't we need to like, actually do a play with a story and some jokes? Is that if it's a comedy? <clears throat> oh, uh, well, if since maybe if if this. Uh, if this new door prefers the the current trend in modern comedy, he might enjoy this. Oh, which door are you standing in the, front of? The the comedy door, the okay. laughing door. Oh, dude, weed, LMAO. <laughs> oh, I smoked so much weed, and there were boobs back there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, ain't money to laugh at that. Oh, oh I'm so glad that didn't work. <laughs> oh. I think you're onto something. We have to, we need to, uh... Gosh, you know that rat at the child casino? He knew comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that rat man. Can we tell a simple story? Rat folk, I think they prefer. Oh, you can't I call him rat man? I would say you would imagine that is worth a try. Can we act out a simple story where oh. we'll assume roles and... Oh, like role play? Yes. Oh, well, yes, well like, a, like an actor does. Yeah, exactly. I don't know right. if I call that role give it a play. Try. Oh, yeah, we're performers. That's what, really what we're doing. All we're right. pretending we're, to be somebody else. One of the classics? Yes. Yes. Uh, what, all, what the, some, all those D and D classics what is, that we what know some in classics? the world of Avantress. Um, no, probably something. Oh, comedy. Yes, I agree. Comedy would be refreshing. Um, but I, I, I'm really not much of a theater goer. Uh, I'm struggling to think of even. Uh, here, here, here. Uh, you, you all three stand here. Okay. Um, you guys are going to be pigs. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have a feeling this is weird. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to be this wolf character. Okay. okay. All right. And, 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 and each of you are inside different houses. <clears throat> okay. Frost. Okay. Well, yeah. well, What's so my well, character's name? I I don't remember the story well enough to pick any name. How about Phil? Oh, Phil. Okay. Because you're a pig. What's my motivation? Uh, your motivation is not to be eaten by me. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Yes. Does he have any, like, notable skills? Uh, well, he clearly knows how to build the house that he's in. Oh, so, like, carpentry or masonry? What's what's his house made out of? It's made out of hay. He, he, he made oh, it, he... what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my that. character's an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, my name is Phil. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I want to uh, consume you. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Uh, you, you've made a very poor choice in housing material. <laughs> And now your house has been blown away by you. No. Yeah, yeah, no. No. And then I can see. No, no, no. Look, oh, no, my my house comes. It's it's special fortified hay. This is not it's not magic story, hay. <laughs> no, okay. What well, you can just say how it's supposed to be. No. I put out a frame throw and I killed a wolf. <laughs> Uh, Waiting this wolf is exactly for supper. How the story goes. Uh, <laughs> fear not, brother pigs. I, I mean, fear not, brother pigs. I'll slain that wolf. <laughs> oh my god, you killed me! <laughs> well, well, thanks, uh, Phil. Yeah. Uh, Wait, you want to come to my superior house? <laughs> no, I got a special <laughs> magic impenetrable hay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm awesome. going to be eating wolf nuggets for the winter. <laughs> Should have made your your houses out of hay. <laughs> this went from comedy to tragedy. <laughs> oh, two birds of one stone. Uh, I need two you, wolves. I need you one. two to make a performance check at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> How is that ever going to be a comedy, Frost? 
Great. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Five. Oh my god. I'm twisting. Okay. Oh, I'm twisting. I mean, that's what Good they're log. there for. Natural 20. Oh! oh. 17. Oh. Okay. Um, so oh. Two? D100. Yeah, okay, I'm happy. Cool. I mean, D100s for the two of you. Oh man. D100s. Oh. Fellas. Oh shit. I, that is not how the three little pigs go. Yeah, I'm not even say. close. A 92. A 92. Ooh, that's pretty good. Let's see here. Oh, uh, is it 10 and zero? <laughs> Your knees become few. <laughs> <laughs> you lose the ability to run. A ten and a zero is a ten, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you get a one hundred? Uh, no, no, I got a ten. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is gonna be the end. <laughs> Your breathing is loud and obnoxious. Flossy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you only legs! <sighs> Did it work? <sighs> Tell me it worked. <sighs> uh, what? Yeah, but That's oddly enough, oh, oddly enough, <sighs> the happy the happy <sighs> side of the door goes from being happy to being very, very <sighs> sorrowful. Uh, However, uh, you're now looking at two sorrowful faces. Uh, you oh, imagine that oh, to shit. unlock these doors, the other one uh, needs to be changed. That could have been done with a play that exhibited both sorrow and and comedy. You could have thrown um, in a few jokes, Krico, before you but killed the fucking But it looks wolf. like you're going to need to perform <laughs> some. <laughs> Maybe like a knock-knock joke? Yeah. Oh. Knock-knock! <laughs> Who's there? The big bad wolf! Big bad wolf. Oh, Phil's the smartest, most powerful big bad in the world. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you, Gringo. Oh, oh, I feel like I need to wear a, a dirty white bathrobe and eat some gabagool out of the fridge. <laughs> 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 You have to make it into a story. <laughs> I'm, I army crawl over to the like corner of the the corn. And I just like sit up. I'm like, you guys are on your own for the next one. I <laughs> got too much shit going on. You take it. You what take happened it. to your leg? I don't know. Again, again with the fucking, again they, with the fucking legs. They just walk together. Like, <laughs> uh, why does this keep happening? Oh, why do we come back to this maze? We so frosty, Judge. <laughs> I can hear every breath. Mm. Every particle of air that's going through that snow. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's very annoying. It sounds like a death rattle. <laughs> oh god. No, death rattle sounds more like. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit this one out and we're gonna go away. Out of off camera. Oh, so we can't even Grammy can enjoy something. And so I'm to role play this the whole fucking time. Oh man. So now we have to. Uh, what, what? Tell a funny play? Well, I, I, I'm at least making smile. Oh. You imagine it needs to be some sort of performance with a story. Like a joke doesn't work, We gotta work, think clearly. of a story that's some sort of comedy. Oh my god. Do we know any of those? I don't know. I mean, what, what really qualifies a comedy? Well, he just made up that thing about a wolf getting burned by a flamethrower. <laughs> 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 Sounds pretty. That's pretty I funny. Mean, yeah. What else is kind of in that genre? Um, <laughs> let me think. <laughs> I think um, you could pay me money right now, and I could not tell you a comedic story because I'm, I'm like completely blanking about. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's comedy, two little pigs. Someone will have a twenty dollar bill. Be like, pick any comedy. I'd be like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I have an idea if they don't figure it out. Uh, your fucking legs. <laughs> 
Would you like some cured meats? <laughs> There's pistachios in there. <laughs> Yeah, what about oh. what about like classics? You know that are fun. I mean, they're all real grim. I keep thinking of stories like, oh no, everybody dies in that one. Yeah, it's one about a mermaid, but she dies in the end. Oh, what even makes a story a comedy? Well, there's one about the two kids and the hag, and the hag dies in the end. She actually gets burned alive. Um, well, what about does does uh does irony count? I, I mean, irony's kind of funny, depending. What do you think? Well, I don't have any stories that are ironic. I just <laughs> <laughs> whether or not it counted. You know? Oh, Gideon! <laughs> <laughs> Why you... tell the door that there was wine in your Chardonnay? <laughs> <laughs> what? Not, what? It's what? very ironic. I, I mean, a fly in your Chardonnay. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Or rain on your wedding day, perhaps. I don't oh. think either of those things are ironic. I think it's just unfortunate events. Mm. There was a thing about unfortunate events, but I think you know there was horrible death in that too. I think some kind of house fire, or I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> some kind of death. Was that the family reunion you were talking, <laughs> yeah, you were talking yeah, about? Yeah. Oh, Chuckles had some funny stories. If only he could haunt me right now and tell me one of his hilarious comedic backstories so I could just retell it in a rendition in front of this door. I, I believe the distinction is uh, tragedy is when something bad happens to me, but comedy is when something bad happens to you. So uh, uh, pick any story where uh, uh, there, there's some sort of comedic outcome to perhaps a, a villain, for example. How about a story about um, a, uh, a woman and a man falling in love, but uh, uh, a, a, an evil king attempts to uh, uh, marry the, the woman anyway um, in order to secure his kingdom, uh, and she actually turns out to be a secret troll uh, that magically overnight turns into, uh, into this troll creature uh, that I'm describing, um, and he could be very short and be defeated in the end. I mean, something along those lines, perhaps. Are you talking about Shrek? <laughs> yes, in fact, uh, the entire message of the story could be about appearances not being important, but the entire movie makes fun of the height of the king, and that's irony. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? Fuck it. The the door the door the the sad door starts to laugh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. And guy. Shrek I saves and us again. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, I feel like Shrek needs to save you in this moment. Yes, that works. Thank you. Oh, we did it. I guess we just needed to tell a story. We didn't have to all participate. I was gonna say I could have played the short villain. And he could have, oh. Drico could have played the, the ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm so symmetrical. Drico is mini Shrek. Giddy, will you be kind enough to... Uh, yeah, yeah, come me. on, hop on up here. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, I'll go over and pick up uh, oh, Frosty and should... let, him sit on my, let him sit on my shoulder. What happened to your legs? Well, well they seem to be fused again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate by making waffles. <laughs> I'll probably die like that. You oh. probably won't. Hey, no crying up there, all right? This is a new shirt. I'm sorry. Oh, we could have called it Shreko. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We make our way through. Oh, we still have to pick which door. You have to pick which door. The door. Oh, oh, they're left, different left, doors. Left, left. Um, one buddy once told me. So you pick left? Left door. We're just going to go left. <clears throat> you make your way through the left door, and there are a couple of turns, and eventually you make your way out of the, the cord maze. Oh. Are we back in the feasting carnival? <laughs> oh. Oh. And as you step into the feasting carnival proper, your legs unfuse uh. and your fake curses <sighs> fade from you. Hey, Carmela. <laughs> you feeling better, Grico? You know, I feel a need to be endlessly frustrated by people knowing something that they shouldn't have for mm -hmm. seven entire seasons on repeat. <laughs> but other than that, I'm fine. I can think about death again. <laughs> now you know, you... I looked at a list of classic comedies and none of them are funny. <laughs> what in the hell? Why do they call them comedies? Because it ends in a wedding. 
Oh, I guess they end in, but usually there's some real dark stuff going on. Do they all end in weddings? I think traditionally, if you're talking about the Great Bard. Oh, that? look! It's the Cupcake Chad! And oh. all of a sudden, kids just start to swarm around <laughs> Finally, you. Finally, back to polite society. You know, Out of you, that horrible maze. If you didn't have a, uh, a proper joke... I had a pretty good one. It was actually going to be about clowns and quite relevant. Well, it wasn't about a joke, but I mean... You can oh, it was a story, too. It was a very comedic story. Oh, well, then please continue. Why did you go over and sit down and <laughs> not tell it, then? It was then? Huff and puff. Because <laughs> I was... It was imagine... It was snack a, on Gabagool. I mean, it was just, all I could do was breathe very loudly and <laughs> snack on cured <laughs> ivory Italian meat. That was not part of your, your fingers. <laughs> oh, my white robe is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, that was exhausting, and even though I have just restored my legs somehow, I would propose that we go to the gondola swan so that we can sit and relax and not have to walk and these kinds of... Uh, Smooth ride kind of action. What do you think? I bet we didn't even get any credit for being the witch light king or whatever for yeah. doing that. You feel yeah. like you got nothing for doing. Oh that. yeah, that feel that feels like we just wasted a whole lot of time, Frost. We only have eight hours here. I wanted to. I, 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 we had we had to solve puzzles. That, <laughs> it feels like the DM probably just mentioned it to set the scene, and you decided to do it and had to come up with something. That's what that feels. Like. Monkey knew meta wise. That's what it was. <laughs> but I still wanted to do it. What? In the rule How of, am I supposed to know that? <laughs> in the rule of game design, Frosty, you generally just have one attraction in each node on the map. <laughs> Otherwise, it would get repetitive thematically. Well, shit. I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was. Putting so much pressure on the universe. <laughs> well, so, do you not think we should go to the Hall of Illusions? Wasn't that where uh, the the kid cool just killed somebody or something? He's ruining the mood. It sounds like more walking. I was proposing that we take a smooth, relaxed choice. But if you want to go to the Hall of Illusions because you enjoy that sort of thing, I, you well, please I by all means. I've never been to a Hall of Illusions, but I'd be willing to give it a try. I just think maybe if we find this Kenku. And we uh, we take care of them. I think that uh, you know maybe we get another ticket or we get some kind of reward. What do you imagine is a hall of illusions if you've never been to one? Uh, <laughs> you know, like a like a straight hallway where you walk mm -hmm. down it, and then you know I don't know some some whispers to you, and you know some things happen. I would say Frost, you have. You have read at least about Halls of Illusions, mm -hmm. though none that have been at a Fey Carnival, and you imagine that this would be similar to what you'd experienced, but significantly worse. Very maze-like. Worse in, in like a... In every sense. <clears throat> worse in like quality? No. Worse in like... In exhaustion. Horror. Yeah. Terror. Oh. Effort. So what you're describing is a corridor where there will be things that aren't real inside. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but it won't be. But it won't be scary. There's gonna at all. be like breathing on your neck and like whispers well, in your ear. Yeah, well, I'd be surprised if you get all the way skinny. to the end with your knees not fused back together. Well, right it sounded. Nobody like, tell Gideon what the whole evolution is. For a second, it sounded like you were just describing the alleyway behind the Rat Man's Child Casino. <laughs> that wasn't an attraction. <laughs> no, that was just the alley. What? But they had some. It was a giant there. trash can. <laughs> what? That wasn't a part of it? No, there were eight raccoons, Gideon. <laughs> I thought they were performers. <laughs> no, oh, they no. only started performing because I played a jaunty tune on me whistle. Yeah. And I got them away from attacking all of the children as they exited the casino. Well, they were very handsome dancers. Well, they really they did kind of look like a ball pit, so, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we can give you a pass on that one. Well, thank you. I thought it was very reasonable to think so. There was also the broken animatronic Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 100 log cabins. <laughs> I'm going to make a Futurama joke every time. I'm going to make just one, and I'm going to make a Futurama joke. I think I actually made three Futurama jokes before he punched the line. <laughs> um, let's go to the Hall of Illusions. I want you to see what it is for yourself. Well, okay. But, I mean, here's the thing. The Kanku probably won't be there right now because if he already, like, killed the mom... Then I doubt he'd return to the scene of the crime. Oh, we'll get more clues if we talk to the mine. I get... 
well, talk to the man. Well, if we like, question the mom and have a nice conversation with him. Well, he might not be like a legitimate mom, so yeah, I bet he'd talk. He'd probably, you know, <laughs> yeah, drunk. what do you want? <laughs> 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 he'd probably do anything for a couple of lecture pieces, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Did we ever have a mom at uh, Carnival the Crew? No, we never had a mom. No, I ever. hate moms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, personal, you said that. Personal Carnival the Crew policy, no so, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're learning a lot about you, Kremi, and perhaps your childhood. On one end of the spectrum is unicorns, and the other end... <laughs> I fucking love you. Is yeah. mimes. And so you gotta wonder where everything else in your life falls on that. Uh, I think everything could fit on a unicorn to mime spectrum, exactly right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I it's may just... be able to speak to him with my mind. Oh. Oh, oh. I mean, if he won't yeah. talk, yeah. And then he's not breaking his mime's vow of silence, right? Or how would that I thought mimes works? had a vow of celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just comes with it. Uh, yeah, occupational hazard. Wait, it's a vow, but they just don't get laid. Wait, <laughs> moms don't have a vow of celibacy. No, they they have no game. That big titty golf mom that I was chatting that was lying to me. <laughs> oh. Let's go. To a hole. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We uh, hustle. So you are skipping a bunch of things and heading towards the hall of illusions. We're not skipping stuff. We can come back, right? Apparently. <laughs> If it's more, pr- what, if are we, it, what are we skipping? If it's more like reasonable for just to hit, no, it's totally up to you what you guys want to do. We're putting so much pressure on the DM because she's like, "What do I have to prepare? What do I have to prepare? Is it going to be this? Do I have to fit to page seventy-eight or page 77? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, I'll go to the gondola swans if you want. Oh, Jerry, I'll think he's going to meet me there with uh, half a dozen. You can go to wherever you want to oh, yeah. go. I just need to know so I can prepare it. <laughs> I think we go to the Hall of Illusions. I'll think so too. <laughs> we got to deal with back. it. It's the cl- we'll find clues, and soon they'll be saying Kenku, more like Kenk who. <laughs> Cause he'll be out of here. It's very funny, Grigio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we make our way to. We commit to the Hall of Illusions, and knowing yes. that we, knowing that we can come back, Quite we can always come back. <sighs> Uh, we grab some snacks, and I would propose a coffee break so that you can get to page 78. <laughs> Thank you, I'm at page 78, but I do would also like a coffee break. We're taking so. a coffee break. We're taking a coffee break. You make your way through the witch-like carnival. You pass attractions that you have not been to, specifically the gondola swans. You feel a bit of <laughs> sadness, and like you probably should have gone there first. As you make it, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> do you really, think I'm Jerry's just gonna throw away my tuna sandwich? I'm 100% kidding. No! Uh, as you make your way past these attractions, you make a mental note that um, if you're going to find this Kenku, that there's there are probably many places that you're going to have to experience before you can do that. Um, but the first place, the place that seems most reasonable, is the place that you know this Kenku has been. And that would be the Hall of Illusions. What's the clues? You slowly make your way up to it, and you you see it off in the dis not off in the distance. You see that it is in front of you, but you are your attention is turned towards a glass cabinet. A wooden mannequin of a grinning raven haired young woman in witch's attire and a green flowing cape hovers inside a glass cabinet. At the top of the cabinet, a sign reads Tasha the wizard, known for her hideous laughter. A halfling couple holds hands as they approach the glass cabinet. One of the halflings is wearing butterfly face paint. As he drops to one knee and pulls a small box from his pocket, his sweetheart bursts into laughter and begins rolling on the ground. The halfling in face paint begins sobbing and darts into the nearby tent without getting his ticket punched. You watch on as this uh, as this halfling just rolls around on the on the floor laughing. Uh, but she is reaching out towards the man who had gotten down on one knee in what appeared to be a, an attempt to propose. Yeah. And in his shame um, at her reaction, he darts into the Hall of Illusions. You do see that there is a mime standing outside of the Hall of Illusions. Um, he looks like you, how you would expect any mime to look, but he's devoid of all color. It's almost as if he is solely in sepia, sepia or I guess tones of grayscale Mm -hmm. Uh, he's in grayscale Mm -hmm. as he (sighs) makes a gasped expression and reaches out and makes a hole punch motion with his hand Um, and then he looks shocked and scared but he doesn't seem to chase after the male halfling as he runs into the hall of illusion with the mime following them, the halfling the mime does not follow the halfling the halfling ran in the halfling ran (sighs) in um Ashamed. All the while, the female halfling is just rolling on the ground laughing. 
Are you all, all, all right, Miss? Uh, uh, I, I need you to roll a. Um, I need you to roll a history check for me first. Oh. Didn't that guy die? When I pointed the mime. Oh no, he said oh. worse. Than and that. then I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Who? Who? A Derek. Um. Almost. Can I twist the history check? <laughs> yes. Twist it all. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. 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 Give me a D100. Yep. Yep. Uh, give me some 71. 71? Yes. Uh-huh. Are you sure it's a 71? It's 170. I roll again. Uh, what time does Khaleesi's Sean Connery go to the Wimbledon? 10 ish. 7. Oh. <laughs> 55. <laughs> Okay. 55? <laughs> you believe you are a child. <laughs> Thank you, Sultana Banana. Or Sultana Banana. Thank you. Oh, the follow. Uh, okay, and my for my wisdom saving throw. You think you're what? A child. Oh. Um, I walk up to the woman and in front of this glass box, and I get a dirty 20. Okay. Um, so your intelligence uh, or your history, you got a dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, you look up at this box before approaching the halfling uh, rolling around in the ground, and you immediately recognize who this is. Um, you, It's something that you had studied and heard about. You don't know much, uh, but you do know that Tasha was one of the names reputedly used for Igwell, the Witch Queen. And this is clearly some kind of um, mannequin depiction of Igwell. Uh, I or of Tasha. W. Uh, Igwell, I G G. Well, it, I, that's probably not how you actually I-G-G-Y. pronounce it, but I G G W I L V. The Witch Queen. Igwell, the Witch Queen equals who is Tasha? Tasha, Tasha, like of Tasha's Cauldron. Mm-hmm. Um. And then, what was your wisdom saving throw? Dirty twenty. Dirty 20. You immediately, as you step forward, you immediately feel yourself overcome by this aura of magic. And as you look, um, you look more closely at this glass cabinet with this, uh, this mannequin of Tasha inside of it. And you're reminded of a very common spell that was writ by Tasha herself, Tasha's hideous laughter, as you feel yourself overcome by it. You look down at this halfling girl and you realize what happened. Getting near this cabinet Um, There is an aura of that spell, and her partner appears to have been able to withstand it. She, however, did not. And if he's not aware of that, he probably took her laughter as sincerity. As she writhes around on the ground, unable to to speak or say anything, as she just laughs and laughs and laughs. Uh, Deducing all of this, I'll look down at the lady. As you then become overcome by a fey curse, where you feel your mind start to change and warp, your age, not what it should be, not what it could be. It is what it is, which is probably around eight. <laughs> you still look like adult man frogs. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. This is an adult man. <laughs> Ooh, well, I made him you what just, he did. You just think you're a child. You don't become a child. Uh, yeah, I was trying to decide if I was going to switch voices, but I'll continue this frost. Um... Hey, lady, you uh, seem to have broken the heart of the man who was proposing to you because you were unable to resist the uh, magical cabinet. Um, do you need assistance? Or are you all right? She just laughs, rolls, and laughs. She right, clearly well, needs assistance. Goodbye. <laughs> that's, that's child oh, problems. Wait, is that what happened to <laughs> him? The dick. Oh. <laughs> um, this, uh, this cabinet here... Uh, I think Tasha was some sort of uh, Igwil, the, the witch queen, with uh, another name for her. What? Igwil? Igwil? Are you familiar with Igwil? 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 Igwil. Egg? I don't really study, you know, witches and stuff. I think I had Igwil at a diner once. <laughs> you notice what? as the. Um... You notice as the mime makes motions and eventually a couple of candy striper pixies make their way over and carry the uh, the halfling off. Is she going to be okay, pixie stripers? We sure hope so. Who knows? As they shove Toffee into well, her throat on, and try on. and help she her. She was with somebody. Yeah. Can we can we go fetch him? Where should we bring him? Can we go to the Hall of Illusions? 
Well, that's, that's where, where he ran into. Was no, I, I, I know, but I just want to enjoy the home illusions. Well, I feel like Calm this down, is a big standing. I feel a little bad that you know all this happened right in front of us, and you're acting a little bit like a dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hootsie. I never ever want you to end up like that lady right there. And by that, I mean dating a bloke that would propose in front of a gross marionette of a witch. <laughs> <laughs> At a carnival. I don't care how nice the carnival is. I don't care yeah. how magical yeah. and how much on your Instagram it is. Don't <laughs> date no one who's going to propose there in yeah. front of a gross witch mannequin. Really wasn't the Find yourself she's, a nice she's man. Not, it's not a gross witch mannequin. It is in her Tasha form. She's beautiful. Oh, she's very who beautiful. Would gro- who would... Propose in front of a beautiful statue that's hotter than you are. We should know our place, you know? We should know what number we're at. And we don't want to have competing gays. For a mannequin? For a sexy mannequin. <laughs> is it talk? Is it going to be like, oh, I'll tell your fortune? Or does this, does this make you laugh? Why don't you find out? I'm, I'm going to attempt to push him. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to push him into the aura of the, okay. of the box. I, I stumble need you. and catch myself. I need you to roll wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. Frosty! Frosty! What are you doing? It's funny. Well, it's not funny at all. Natural 20. Oh! oh. Yeah, you are efficient. able to fend off the effects of Tasha's hideous laughter. <clears throat> all right, uh... A place to like put a, an electrum piece or anything. I'm gonna like look around and see if it's if it does no, anything. No, it, it appears to just be a mannequin depiction. It's it's Is like it? a, a uh, it's a human's or a lifelike doll in a cabinet. Oh, well that's it. No like fortune telling or any other kind of witchy business. Um, Maybe oh. Greco can help you take a look. <laughs> 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 what was it? What, I got a four naturally. Uh, so you good at wisdom, though. Uh, oh, was wisdom. Oh, yeah. Frosty, have you lost your mind? Uh, Why are you pushing everybody what is it? towards is it plus, this crazy? Daddy plus eight, right? Funny. It's crazy. What uh, a mannequin, five, six, witch. Seven, plus, seven. plus seven. So I still. Uh, it's a 13. 11. 11. Yeah, you fail. Uh, you're pushed into it, and immediately you everything is hilarious. <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking about the time Chuckles was laughing after you punched him. <laughs> and remember, his first day on the job, he said, Oh, I'm Curly the Clown. And everyone just called him Chuckles, and so he just changed his name. <laughs> you know, Frost, there's no cure for this. Oh. It's been like Willy Wonka, where they like, oh. The Loompas show up and carry the kids out. Oh, it's gone, it's over because there's like nowhere to fix them right away. Oh, goodness. That's what the fairies are going to do to him. Oh, oh, you don't think they're going to harvest the organs, do you? Well, I don't know now. Oh, there's time. There's that was very rude. Oh, I oh, like slab, but to your oh, best friend, Rico. Gideon, you better go help. Oh, this taffy? That'll just make me more laughy. <laughs> I'll walk up to Grick on. <laughs> hey! Hey! Come on! <laughs> Trying to get back on track. Wouldn't that have him cross the threshold in order for it? Oh, it would, yes. Can you please roll a oh, wisdom saving throw? Don't get too close! <laughs> oh no! You were an agent of chaos tonight, Derek. I appreciate this. Thank you. <coughs> wisdom save. Frost is yes. a child of the Wisdom kid. saving throw. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, natural shorts. 17. Oh, so. then you pass. It's 13 is yeah. the DC. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So you were able to step in. You do feel the magic wash over you, but it doesn't affect you as you grab onto Gricko and you start slapping him and shaking him. No! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm getting bruised now. <laughs> uh, I'm giddy with Gideon. Yeah. Well, this is just a fun uh, situation, uh, regardless of the spell. <laughs> oh, so that's genuine laughter. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, my. Uh, I just feel like, uh, you know, I can't go about it uh, without hitting Grico. Uh, it does look kind of fun. Can I try it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I walk in my snack. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm not into it. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> and it, it takes a while, um, but you you do start to notice that some of the candy striper pixies are like hanging around out, outside of the outskirts as you're just slapping Gricko. They're not really sure how to get in and help, but they do eventually dart in and shove a toffee down Gricko's throat. And it, it takes a bit of time, but you <laughs> but you are able to uh, be cured of the hideous laughter. Oh God! Save him! Save him! Uh, save him. Uh, get choke it down! Don't choke it down! Get no, it, no, 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 get it! No, no, get it! How much maneuver? How much maneuver? Oh, won't we'll he spit it up if I do that? Well, then we'll put it back down the right, the right tube. Oh, wait, no, I just cover his mouth and then hold his nose, and I just hold him down like this. I've done this before, I promise. Yeah, and then swallow it. He swallow starts it. to go white. I swallow it. <laughs> it's, are you doing it? Are you sure? Give me, give me a hand signal. Give me a hand signal. He passes oh, out. Okay. <laughs> but, but you do see that he, he does swallow as he passes uh, Well, here's the good news. The good news is he swallowed the candy. I think he's fine. The bad news is... I don't know when to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you watch him. You, you watch him for one, two, three minutes, and he finally wakes up. <laughs> he finally wakes up. <laughs> I guess he role played for about three minutes. <laughs> well, at least they gave him toffee. Feel bad for the half a girl. <laughs> oh man. You feeling all right? Yeah. I'm Dr. Just, Gideon, MD. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> thinking about how that guy waited eight years to propose to his best gal at a carnival like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very magical, like, I think I mean, you're thinking more like Kremmie's Carnival. This is a wonder oh, to hey, behold. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I think like, I mean, listen, plenty of proposals. So, yeah, I guess this it, is, it's more Disney. I'm thinking more of, like, Funland this is, at the yeah. end of the pier. And this Ocean is much City. more like <laughs> Disney World. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe we can do a character meet and greet with his mom, Grummy. I'm bored. Let's go talk to the mime. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what to do there, fella? He uh, mimes taking his hat off and... I'll take my hat off and I'll put it back on. Um, uh, you feeling all right? We heard that you got into a bit of a scuffle with a certain feather refrain. Or foe. Oh, did that make you sad? Oh, he he he, he choked you. Or... Hey, cut your throat, huh? Oh, he oh. cut your tongue out. Can we see? Uh, oh no, uh, you, no, you got a tongue. Did the mime steal your voice? Oh, wait, the mime stole your vo- no, the kangaroo stole your voice. Grammy, that should have been obvious from the very beginning. Well, I, I don't. I mean, he, he's he's a mime. Isn't that what you want? Why, why does it make you sad? Your, your ring finger? Oh, did you lose your best gal? Oh, oh. because he can't speak? Did you attempt to propose to her in front of the Ilkwiv, <laughs> the, the fucking witch queen? <laughs> oh, no, yes, no? No. I bet this story would have opened oh, that Oh, wait, you're engaged or you're married? You're married? Engaged? Oh, oh you couldn't you're, get there. Oh, it didn't work. Did you th- attempt to propose, or did you fail at proposing? Or you were um, married and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, or, yes or no, yes or no. Uh, I, I, I got it now. Uh, God, were you one. able to propose in the first place? Were you unable no. because you couldn't speak? Would you consider this a fate worse than death? Oh, wow. You got problems, friend. <laughs> oh, was your was your best gal a mom too? <laughs> okay, I was gonna say if it was that same mom girl I used to know, that'd be crazy coincidence. <laughs> Did you lose your color uh, through this process? Is that a snake? Huh? Ah! No, no the the hall the hall of illusions. No, uh, is the uh, thing that is the thing that you love able to swim? Is it? Oh, oh. Is it? Is it? The, is she in the river all around this? Is Carnival? She at the Swan Lake? Oh, she's in the river. You, oh, she's probably in <laughs> the gondola. Can you point at where she, uh, uh, if, if, if she's in the Carnival, uh, it, it, can you point to her in the on, on the map where, where she would be? Um, he does point to the water. <clears throat> the, the lake area or the river around it? 
um, both the lake and the basically anywhere that there is water. Oh. Wow, so she, she really gets around. <laughs> Don't say it like that. That's <laughs> very funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's confirming it. She does. Well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's nothing wrong with that. All right, fella. Um, is there something we can do to... Uh, can, can we help you? Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, did did, did your, your best gal look like this? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> 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 you scoundrel! What did, what did you call? What did a you do? Giant breasted mermaid. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, no wonder you fell in love. Oh! 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 Yeah, those oh, are uh, huh? those, those are seashells. <laughs> <laughs> um, the color. Uh, yeah, the fact that you're completely grayscale is this related to this in any way? Oh, so you've lost your color. Was it also stolen from you? From Wait, the Cancun. So, are you... Were you even a mom before all this? I mean, what's the problem? He just actually turned you into a mom. Oh, he wants to propose. Oh, he wants to bang them. <laughs> oh, you want to give up your momitude for a mermaid? Oh. oh. No, that's so that's she she that. won't marry you unless you have color and voice? kind of superficial over Yeah, I mean, as long as you have a nice personality, that's what my mum always told me. Well, how's he gonna... Wait. Okay. Oh, they, they fell in love because they spoke to each oh. other. Oh, well, you can find other ways. Oh, anyway, how did how did the Kenku do all this? It seems quite powerful. There's for... no how. Yes, no questions. How did the Kenku no, 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 do no. it? <laughs> Hold on. Find a way to rephrase it so that he can say yes or no. Oh, rephrase it. Okay, hold on. I got. You. In which way did the Kenku? Right hold on. How about this? Hold on. How about this? Hold on, hold on, girl. When the Kenku took your voice, what was he or she doing? You're fucking it up right now. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you one more chance. Okay. And I'm going to ask it. Maybe, uh, maybe we just ask him which way did the Kenku go after he could just point. Mm. Hold on. I got it. Is the Kenku a powerful wizard or something? Oh. Oh, he's a powerful wizard. Did, did what? He... <laughs> what oh. do you mean? Oh, he's a warlock. Wait, how do you know it's a warlock? I mean, you're carrying a cane with a skull on top. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you do look it's like glowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're wearing, you're wearing a con badge that says Kremi Warlock Patron Baron Somini. It's on a small shirt and you can see the Um. Did this right. happen to you today? You've been like this for a long time. And it was this Kenku, still. The same one. Well, do you happen to know where it will? First, let me ask you this. If we kill him, will all this go back to normal? No, it won't. Do we need to steal something from him? Take something back? Oh, do we Damn. gift him something? What should we do? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We can't kill him. We can't steal from him. This sucks. Well, no, but we need to take something back. So if we bring him back here... Is that bad or that should be, be bad? He'd be scared if we brought him back. But if he were uh, uh, bound, uh, if he were unable to perform magic, we could ask him or, or force him to give you back your color and your your, your voice. We cut yeah. off his beak. What if all his hands were broken? Well, that, that's all and very that's violent. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no rules about being violent. Well, I just can't steal from him. Oh, is there no rules Are about there me? rules about violence in this carnival? So, we, hey. so if we murdered this Kenku, we wouldn't go to carnival jail? Oh, we would be sad. No, no, the mood of the carnival would be ruined. Oh. What no. What about justified killings of terrorists, politically motivated or otherwise? That's a good point. That's a good point. He, he might be causing mischief for some sort yeah. of reason. Yeah, everyone would celebrate if we killed the terrorists. Yeah, yeah. If he'd be an enemy combatant, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Grico and the gas <laughs> kill <a> terrorists. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 o
Yeah. <laughs> this campaign is really. <laughs> Is it, he's an enemy combat. Yeah. Tango uh, neutral. How, how hot is the Kenku? Scale one to ten. Oh, okay. So he's not hideous. Oh. Um, well, here's an interesting. Okay, ten words. Oh. He's a ten. Oh, oh no, the he's mermaid. Well the mermaid. It's a woman. The Kenku is a woman. The Kenku is. Wait, Those Kenku wings. can't fly. Why are you flapping your wings? Well, Kenku has wings. Do they? They don't got yeah. wings. They just got little hands. Well, they're sort of wing-like. I don't know. They got, they're covered in feathers. Little hands. It's eight words. Three, eight. Eight seven words. Eight, eight oh, words. Oh, she's a seven or eight. Oh, oh, I'm oh it's a sh- oh, it's a she. Oh, that's she. Okay. That's pretty fine-looking Kenku. And let me guess. Uh, oh. I mean, your uh, merfolk is like ten out of ten. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. that's uh, a lot of tens. Okay. Oh, and then what number is she? <laughs> ah! Oh, if only you could laugh, Paul. Oh, what's your name? Oh. <laughs> oh. F- fire. Lantern. Flame. Lampwick. Fire. Uh, red. Lampwick. Orange. Fire. Yellow. Fire. Lantern. <clears throat> uh, heat. Glass. Candle. Fire. Candlewick. Oh. Your name oh, is Candle. Just Cam. And then I'm not going to do it, but he raises his foot up and points at it. Candlefoot. Candlefoot? Candlefoot. A candle. Candle toe. Candle toe? Oh, wait, no. There's the old <laughs> nursery rhyme. Oh, Jack. Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over, over the candlestick. Is yeah. your name Jack? Oh, 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 Candle Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere else when we said candle toe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, so he, yes, it is Candlefoot. Oh, wow. Okay. Great. North Wind Candlefoot. Ha, oh, I don't know if you recognize me. I used to work at the, the staff area. I also carved pumpkins and probably other things that we'll discover in improv along the way. <laughs> this was many years ago. Yeah, it was a long time. I was I was into the drink a little bit. Um, Aren't you hoping people don't recognize you here? Then you leave on not the best of terms. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think they don't really care that I kidnapped Hootsie. I mean, she's been walking around with this very cute pumpkin on her head, and nobody seems to care. So I feel like we're not really on the lamb, so to speak. I definitely kind of. You know, harsh the whole vibe of the carnival. Thank God that's not the case. Yeah, that'd be very unfortunate. But I mean, I feel like they want to get rid of her anyway. Uh... I know that uh, you can't answer uh, complex questions very easily, uh, but are you aware, yes or no, of the Kenku having additional abilities beyond its ability to sap your color and your voice? You don't know. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I'm bored now. You want to go in the hall of illusions? <laughs> <laughs> he, he lifts up his hole punch and well, motions well, for your ticket. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Last thing. Would you be happy if we found the Kenku and robbed it of all of its possessions? Broke and brought its it all hands. And, bro- and broke its hands. Yep. Cut off its beak. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> broke its toes too, so it can't get away. <laughs> that make you sad? A little scared? Yeah. All right, okay. We won't bring the Kenku back here because the Kenku's a powerful wizard, but we'll steal all of its things. We can still cut off its beak and break its hands. <laughs> it went, it went yeah. from scared to happy and then back to scared again. Oh, yeah. is that scared? Is that, why don't we have is to that more ponderous? Yeah, you just look a bit confused. Are Kenku beaks valuable, Kremi? Well, I'm thinking if it's like a wizard and he can be like, and like cast spells. Can, wait, if we, cut wait. Off, if we cut off your snout, could it do uh, voodoo don't magic? I think about that. No, I'm just saying, like, by the powers of voodoo and, 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 and alligators. If I can't speak, absolutely. You've just given me an idea. What? The Kenku. Ken who? Has stolen a voice. It's doing it again. Sorry. Don't Kenkus normally communicate with mimicry? <sighs> the Kenku that we are going to find. Oh, this is a tragic tale of a misunderstood bird who just wanted to beat her own curse. On account of her horrible dog, and she, it's not her fault that they was all cursed. Well, how about that time she almost killed that dwarf? Oh, that's true. He seemed like he was kind of a dick. Maybe he deserved it. We don't know his backstory. Well, that's fair. All right, well, 
Can you somehow mime what we can do to help you, if it's possible? He... Sorry, I don't know why it's doing. Oh, well, yeah, just is, is it getting crunchy? Driving me, yeah. It's, it's getting crunchy. We got crunchy audio, everybody. Mm. And my ADHD hates crunchy audio. We need a new kid. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't focus when it's doing it. I can't it. do it either. I'm waiting for the next song to start. Yeah, hopefully it's, it's the song. Yeah, and they can hear the crunch. Okay. Yeah, I think it. that's fine for now. We'll see. Chat, let us know if it gets crunchy again. Uh, he looks towards you and um... You're a mermaid. A uh, snake. Uh, he points towards your mouth. Oh. And he, men- he motions to the river around it and oh. points directly at the gondola swans. Oh. I felt a little bit of regret when we passed by those gondolas. I feel like the order of operations for this mystery may have illuminated itself organically. I imagine many people who come to this carnival just do it in a clockwise order. Well, look, now we have the clues, so when we go back, we can address it properly with the right information. Oh, right. Okay, so is it is the Kenku at at here? And I point. You don't know. So is is your mermaid lady friend there? No. Uh, there's a snake there, a little fish. Oh, you just wanted to... He was trying to make the motion of the river. What can it's we... It's crunching ex- again. And hold on, I want to take a break. Take a quick break. Fucking thing. Chuckles, what's something you hate about modern society? <laughs> well, first of all... <laughs> I just hate the fact that we live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> That one writes itself. <laughs> that one writes itself. You guys gotta throw harder shit at Chuckles. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you know what? That we should change it to literally just ask Chuckles a question. Yeah, yeah. Ask Chuckles. Uh, this is an ACA now. Ask Chuckles anything. Oh, yeah. uh, what was it? Uh... I have two personalities. <laughs> The nicest clown you've ever met, and a twisted fucking psychopath. <laughs> Why do the nice clowns never get the girl? I'm trying to learn why you went to hell. <laughs> It's frost. But here we are. Oh, oh my ghost kind of comes and goes. Zach. One last thing. Chuckles, pull something from Lord of the Rings. We're putting the bang. I, I literally oh, know exactly geez. what I'm going to do. Oh jeez. Uh, this is this is worth waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world has changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. (laughs) It began with the forging of the great ring. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. Seven to the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain hall. <laughs> and nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men, who above all else desire power. <laughs> For within these rings was bound the strength and the will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. Deep in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the Master Ring, and into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. (laughs) Well done, Mike. Well done.
I would love for Justice oh to God. read excerpts from Fifty Shades. Yes, yeah. I'm so with you, Polymar. <laughs> oh God, no, right please now. do. I dare you. Find something we and read it. No, we'll do it. We'll do in the, in, in, in the fan art channel. Yeah, yeah. Fan, I, fan audio. That is so. We'll put funny. that in Patreon. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> a Beatrice <laughs> After Dark. Um, <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where were we? Because I don't. I was the DM. I, I was the DM. Currently, on the DM, and I don't remember. You were describing. Yes, this. he was. He was very clearly trying to uh, wind through the. <laughs> Just do it, Mike. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. You want to do it? Just do it. Put the coffee drink thing on. Yep. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I quiz it. He's my very own Christian Grey flavor popsicle. Mm. Soft and hard all at once. Like steel encased in velvet. And surprisingly tasty. <laughs> Okay. 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 Is that 50 chuckles of gray or 50, 50 shades of chuckle? Okay. Uh, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta move God. on. That was brilliant. Great job. If you have Mike. ideas for adventures and chill, uh, we'll be taking requests. God. <coughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, you were indicating the uh, was, perimeter. Yes, the... he was indicating that um, he was trying to motion towards the water, uh, essentially signifying to you that the gondola ride takes that entire the entire uh, oh. perimeter of the of the carnival. So it is a great place to get information because it sees all of it in one one hour ride. And your love uh, could be on any at any spot on the entire perimeter. Uh, he points to the Silver Song Lake. Okay, so in the lake. Oh, probably. I mean, oh, probably in that <laughs> big plan. That was actually, that was not a bit. That was actually Mikey. Uh, I can't even get Gregor's voice oh, quite right. Right. Oh, 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 okay, I'm back, I'm back. Well, I think we know that we have to do the gondola squad. Even though it sounds boring. I got some clown-flavored popsicle in my throat. It's just the toffee. Oh. What does it taste like, clown? Maybe clowns taste like toffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, toffee tastes like clown. Does anyone know what toffee's made out of? Taffy. Yes, they do. Oh. That's not very exciting. Let's go to the hole of illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to convey to us through motion? Alright, so after this, we'll go right to the lake. Scout's on. Uh, the gentleman who ran in here didn't get his ticket punched. Uh, does that mean that uh, Gideon gets to punch him? <laughs> oh! <laughs> No, I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Is there are there consequences? We have to worry about. Uh, you're scared. You're scared about the consequences for the band. Well, so he just gets to do that with no consequences? No, there will be consequences. We can't uphold the justice of the carnival. Oh wait, what's your name? Candle Candlelight. Oh, Candlefoot. Are you Candlefoot. on a Are you on a break with your mermaid lady? It sounds like he. Uh... Does she have any like favorite interests or hobbies? <laughs> Oh, swimming. Oh, oh, that's oh, oh, I should have guessed God. that. That's yeah. pretty obvious. <laughs> Probably what singing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it before even short. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What you'd expect, Roger there. <laughs> I mean, just because I have legs doesn't mean I enjoy walking. <laughs> He's my fucking ticket. <laughs> he punches your ticket. Here you go, like Candlefoot. I don't feel like we really got punches interest all in the whether tickets. there are consequences for not getting punched. Yeah. Yeah. We should all just rush in. We just walk in here. As long as we get it punched, we don't have to worry about it. Thank you, Mary B. Bear Real. Is that right? Yeah. I'd say it was a pleasure to meet you, but uh, we'll get your voice back. Let's uh, let's... <laughs> <laughs> let's find out what this is. What are the all illusions? Well, do, 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 I, do I have a curse, or is this you? No, you. Is this you have a curse right now? I never know. 
Oh, <laughs> the whole of illusion. <laughs> you look <laughs> like asshole frost, don't you? <laughs> that one got me. What a strange... <laughs> What is <laughs> oh, thank you, Starlight Alchemist, for the follow. Welcome oh, to the Vanish Van. I, I need to actually mark my ticket. And then we yeah. walk into the Hall of Illusions. You walk into the Hall of Illusions, and you're immediately met with walls and walls of mirrors. Huh? It's hard to tell which way this place turns and moves because the mirrors <coughs> are reflecting everything back at you. Um, and as you look into them, you see that you are um, you are reflected back as children. The forms that you had taken when you were kids. What would each of you have looked like as a child? It seems very natural to me right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would probably have like a very rounder, cherubesque face. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like young Simba mm -hmm. kind of action. Um, I would. I would have a very haughty look on my face like uh like i i'm obviously the the protagonist of the everyone's story <clears throat> um i would probably have obviously i'd be a lot smaller and i haven't grown into my ears or my nose yet so and my my hair is absolutely wild so it's like that uh what is it? The, the vulture from the Robin Hood movie, <laughs> where he's like he has the thing and he's complete and his beak comes out from the hair. Yeah, oh, yeah. So basically, mm -hmm. I I literally and my, I haven't grown into my chin yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just like a complete like mane of hair and just massive ears and nose and like maybe like a a little bit of a chin coming out and like that's and my mouth. So you won't can't see my eyes. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'd be. Uh, Smaller, obviously, like way, way smaller. I wouldn't be anywhere near like strapping or you're or scrawny, strong ish looking. Yeah, scrawny. Um, still like beard, though. tussled hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's instead of a majestic yeah. full beard, it's it's uh, just a five o'clock shadow mm. at eight. At eight. <laughs> 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 it's just how it was in real life, you know. Uh -huh. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would be a, so this Kremi that you see would be a short, scrawny kid, uh, with, like, tattered overalls, a uh, dirty white shirt with, like, a big, like, a leather, like, straw kind of beat-up hat, um, looked like he was just sort of stomping around in the mud or catching frogs or, you know, helping his me monster the gumbo, you know, something like that, um, just totally different. Uh, not at all the the crisp uh, dressed creme that you're used to. Mm. Oh, so our outfits also would reflect. Yeah, yeah you it, you would look like what you look like as a kid. You don't look like that as you look at each other. You're clearly adults. You're clearly yourselves. It's just oh. a reflection in the mirrors are resembling um, yourselves and your it would youth. I me in my current robes, but just the appearance was changing. No, you just look so like. So without my robes on and as a reflection of my childhood, I would uh, uh, I'll be wearing like oh, simple farmer clothes. Mm. I'd probably be like, ooh, because I'd, I'd probably wear like alligator skin <laughs> or like crocodile skin. Uh, you know, something that would be in like a bog or something, like just beasts. Like there'd be like a leopard, maybe like a leopard pelt or like, you know, something like that. What is that? Do I look. Are we been transformed? And I look around and I no, see. You're... Oh! Oh, look at little Greco! Oh, what a scamp! We're in a hall of illusions, Kremmy. Ah, this is what happens. This isn't so bad. I, mean, I know a thing or two about illusions. Oh, look this at is, Hootsie! This is some advanced oh, stuff. Oh, she's like this big and she's all head. Oh, wow. she's so cute. I thought you were cute now, Kuyuti, but... Oh, my goodness. Now, with the day I met her, she looked just like that. Wow. Mm. What a fuzzball. She's a little fuzzy feathery ball. You think this is just these mirrors or like any kind of mirror? And I, I take out I my... need you all to roll a wisdom saving. Oh, oh, okay. no. okay. I'm reaching for my compact mirror as this happens. I bet you never thought you'd hear that in a D&D Give me campaign. them 12. <laughs> okay. 15. 18. Um, I will not be allowing... Uh, Twists of Fate okay. in the Hall of Illusions. Ooh, Whoa. That's your prerogative. 26. Okay. What did you get? 15. 18. Okay. Well, Frost, <laughs> you are a child. 
You look as, as Frost now resembles the child in the mirror. Nope. You begin to shrink down and your clothes change. You are this eight-year-old Frost. <clears throat> okay, it's Ooks. Ah! What? Oh, wait. Am I still me? I, I, I pull, flip out the, the, open the compact mirror and I check my, my painted on mustache. <laughs> Is it still there? It is still there. Oh, and I, I pull out like this thing that looks basically like this big uh, tube of, of oh uh, yeah, black roll for Hootsie. And I, I, I retouch oh, my Hootsie. my pencil thin mustache that I keep on the end of my snout. Uh, uh oh, and what is her? You turn the DC's fifteen. Well? No, okay. she's a just you. Two yeah. seconds. Hey, you're still you. Am I still me? You're still you. I mean, the three uh, of us are still us. Oh, look at how cute Frosty is. He's a little kitty. Just because I look like that in the mirror. I... No, you look like that now. Yeah, no, you actually turned into a child. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to run Hootsie? Well, I look in the mirror, but this is how I... Uh, oh. Oh. Well, shit. Well, you got small little <laughs> kitty legs. Look at your paws. You haven't grown into them. You're gigantic. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, the same height as you now. Oh, no. Look. <laughs> hey, Frost. Hey, you know what, why don't we rap about how listening to your parents is cool <laughs> and how you should do your chores after school. I really wasn't that cool a kid. Well, we've got to go to the Rat Man's Child Casino <laughs> behind the alley. No, don't go behind the alley. Apparently that's not an attraction. Well, you got to where the raccoons You got to get through the raccoons and get to the Child's Casino run by oh, the Rat Man. Okay, okay. And his yeah. jamboree. <laughs> Do you feel any different otherwise? Like, is your mind still, like, uh, do you have the mind of a child? I have all my memories and knowledge. I just, uh... Oh, could you fry all our brains just by looking at us still? I'm not going to try. I'd probably fry all of your brains by just giving you a look. Okay. Well, Should I well remember, you? you you still have that effect, the fake curse that makes you think you're a child. Yes, so... Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Do I... Have you the were essentially of myself as a child, but my abilities. Or no, do I... you you believe that you are just eight year old Frost. I would say you still have your memories, like in the sense that you know who everyone is, but you don't believe that you have your abilities. Mm. Hey Frost, catch! Oh. And I throw my cane. I've probably done this before, and expecting oh. you to, expect, <laughs> expecting you to catch it with your mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, fuck! I'm sorry, I thought you'd catch it. I was never very dexterous. Oh, oh that was that so much better than him later. catching it. Ow! Well, no, I mean, uh -huh. can you, I'm, I'm, the point is, you should have caught it with your mind, not with your hands. I mean, you gotta tell me next time, right? Oh, well, can, oh, can we try? Can we you're try? so I, cute! I don't think I can. I mean, when I was eight, I, 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 I only had a sense of my ability. I, I couldn't even do the, 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 the talking into the brain stuff. What is this? The playlist ran out, probably. Yeah, oh, it's Thomason! Thomason, shut up! <laughs> Gosh, Tom's sister has such a nice voice, but she just doesn't, she can't read the room. She can't read the room for the life of her. Okay, little Frosty. Gosh, look at you, you need to eat something. Does anyone have any food? Look, he's wasting away. I could eat. Would well, you like a rat snack? Do what? little children eat rat snacks that are, that are tabaxi? I, let's finish the hall. We're in a hall of illusion. Let's we'll go. Let's let, we, we got a punch ticket where if we have to go out and get food and then come back, we're going to have another punch ticket. Let, let's just fucking... Okay, well, you stay with Hootsie <laughs> Buddy System. It's like a field trip. Can you ride Hootsie? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. I don't run. wanna do that. Well, you have to run Hootsie, okay? I don't wanna do that. Well, you have to. No, I don't. You're very no, small. Do you, do you see fine. how small you are? Do you see how you, you are too small for this ride? No, I'm gonna go forward and I'm with maybe there's more man. <laughs> Young man. What? You need to listen to Uncle Crummy and Uncle Gideon, okay? And you're gonna buddy up. It's gonna be a buddy system with Hootsie. And you're gonna let the adults lead you through. And you're gonna stay out of trouble, okay? And you will get a nice sweet, a nice wedge of cake and a pinwheel, perhaps. Aww. Very weird feeling like you're eight and having decades of memories that are adult. <laughs> well, this is a horrible. I was say, it's this is a really, a really fucked up uh, place to be. You know, you know, it's kind of just you, your your mind gets fried. I'm kind of used to it at this point. I'll hold on to Hootsie. Very nice, Hootsie. Now she look frosty, your little buddies. I think about like punching the pumpkin, but. 
I reconsider. And <laughs> <laughs> grab, grab onto to Hootie, and uh, I'll let you lead me to the next mirror set and hope that this reverses my age. I'm probably going to become an old man and shit my diaper at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you do make your way further in, and you uh, you keep looking, and you're, you're trying to find the the turns, and it seems like it's fairly oh, it's, it's fairly yeah. linear in the sense that it, it doesn't give you too many choices on which way to go, and um, but as you move through, you finally start to notice that you're not reflecting as children anymore. Mm. You're in your early teens, early oh. to mid teens. I need you all to roll a uh, wisdom saving throw, oh, please. No. Oh, my pants. 16. Okay. DC's 19. 15. 19. I have to start raising DCs for level 3s. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just rolling hot fire. You should add 10 to everything. <laughs> I'm rolling <laughs> hot fire. <laughs> because uh, between this and the twists. Yeah. 11. 10. The two of you immediately transform into your early teen selves. And I do want everyone to describe yourselves. You remain a child. Yeah. Um, but Gricko, you are now physically the oldest of the group as you're next to Child Frost and Teen Kremi and Teen, teen Gideon. Hootsie fails, but I presume nothing would change. <laughs> she looks pretty much the same. There's one zit right now. Yeah, she's got one zit. Oh, well, uh, so what you'll see is Kremi would be wearing an apron and uh, kind of a dirty chef's hat and just some simple kind of um, clothes that he would have had from Agwe. Uh, around that time, he would have gotten his one of his first jobs uh, cooking in the Crawdad. Uh, Crawdad Quarter? Mm-hmm. Crawdad Quarter. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Gideon, uh, it would probably start to be uh, a little more defined, not definitely not uh, like bulky, but. Uh, similar, similar kind of outfit, uh, but would be covered like very like dirty, um, covered in just like uh, just just like dirt from working the fields with his with his dad. What does Teen Gricko and Teen Frost look like? Gricko's hair is even longer. Uh, Black and, eyeliner. Yeah, exactly. No, it's uh, and he has uh, very clearly like a. Um, <clears throat> Some sort of uh, leather, uh, perhaps like a wolf or some sort of uh, swamp creature uh, leather jacket. Uh, it looks very much like a, like a, what's his name, uh, Eddie from uh, Stranger from Stranger Things. Oh yeah, it looks like a like a leather jacket, and there's like some sort of a strange uh, word written in Goblin, seemingly on the back across uh, across it, and he. Uh, looks very kind of like rebellious. Uh, I'm gonna, like, I'm His gonna nails join. are painted black. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's gonna join basically a metal band. Basically, Perfect. love yeah. that. Love that for him. Yeah. Uh, compared to the like laboring clothes that I'm in now, and I assume that my clothes did change when I turned transformed yes, into a child. Yes, they did. In the mirror, you do not see the robes yet uh, of such dramatic quality that Frost typically wears. Instead, he's wearing like a dark ta- tan, not quite brown. Um, uh, very, very simple, almost like monkish outfit with a very uh, dark green sash, but it is unadorned. Uh, it's extremely minimal. Um, and you can see um, he's starting to get some of his definition in the sense that he's like, not beefing up because he's not a strong man, but he is um, uh, better eaten. He's, he's more well eaten, uh, let's say. Uh, and he. Is he's starting to get like just a little bit of the tufts here and, and whatnot, but his, his full beard hasn't quite quite grown in. Um, he looks thin and sort of serious and determined, I would say. And you are a young child, an eight-year-old, looking at what you're going to look like when you're 15. It's a a strange place to be. Whereas the two of you, you're looking at that's what you look like right now. You are. Oh man. You're young Whoa. again. This is great. I haven't felt like, I haven't felt this flexible, and my back hasn't felt this good in years. Who? <laughs> how do you, how do you get? How did you? Do oh that? my goodness! How do I look? Oh. You're I mean, I hope this is temporary. I don't really know how they're doing this, but this feels awfully real. I mean, it would be better if it wasn't temporary. We'd be able to live much longer lives. 
well, who knows how much of, you know. It would be a uh, horrible existence, I imagine. There'd be some cost. Are we still the age we are just looking like this, though? I mean, you okay. never, never imagine going back and, 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 and re experiencing life, but with their same memories, uh, it suddenly transported into a youthful body. You know, when I was this age, I so wanted to not be who I was. I so wanted to wear those nice suits and make all that money, but. You know, it was simple times, it was fun times. It was cooking, you know, making my gold piece. And... But you're not who you were. You're you're who you are now with all of your memories. My God, you're greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just, uh, just dirty from the fields. I, uh, I, I have thought about living these years again. I, uh, you know, I didn't quite get the opportunity the first time. The Hobgoblin war host rolled in and took these years away from me, so... I don't know. That's a lot of hair on your arms for 15. <laughs> That's impressive. Listen, this is genetics. <laughs> Ain't nothing can do about it. Yeah. Isn't it pronounced genasi? <laughs> Yeah, ge genotics is what I said. <laughs> um, ge okay, well, you two lads, <laughs> two young men, you keep an eye on the children in the back. All right. And uh, just just make sure these scamps don't get into trouble. Make sure that Hoochie keeps balancing that little pumpkin very cutely. Like my chef's hat? What was that? You, you like my chef's hat? <laughs> oh, yes, it's quite nice, Krabby. Oh, jeez, don't show that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and Dr. Candletoe. <laughs> the Janussi was quivering in anticipation. <laughs> oh Join our Discord. <laughs> I am going oh to write God. a lemon um, <clears throat> about well, the Janussi. Anyway, I think I look pretty good in the neighborhood. Just Does it actually change our clothes? It changes your clothes and it changes your personalities. You are 15 year old you. Well, I mean, you still cook for us. No, I know, and I still have an apron and a chef's hat. Yeah, it's not as it's just old and dirty. Yeah, it's just sort of something charming about. I don't think I could honestly. I, it's weird to picture you not like completely perfectly put together, just, or when you're not put together, very upset that you're not perfectly put together. It's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, but you know, when sort of where I'm at now, it feels normal. You know what I mean? Sort of where I am now, I guess where I will be. Oh man, this is kind of weird. But like, you know, when you're living so you're it, less neurotic when you're living it every day. You know, it's a far off ambition, and then you get huh. it, and it's like, well, I gotta do more, and then you kind of get more, and it's like, oh shit, well, I gotta keep up. I gotta keep doing it. Well, just like a uh, young Gideon, it's a good lesson for you, young man. You should always think about this when you're striving to be the best. What is the winner of the pie eating contest, Kit? More pie. Let us continue through this <laughs> hall of illusions. I well, think I you were cooler with the cane. Oh, my cane. I hope all that stuff comes back. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, oh. This is all an illusion. You're probably just still mustachioed uh, crummy Le Creux with your top hat. Uh, I got this frying pan. Oh. And maybe this knife too. <laughs> get the DM or well, maybe you can make it some ben, some of your famous beignets, but from your earlier. Year. Anyway, keep an eye on the little precocious <laughs> rascals, and, and uh, you progress further into the Hall of Illusions, and you you continue to walk, and you see yourself age directly in front of you as you walk past these mirrors. It's a a strange feeling to see the progression from from your youth to where you were when you walked in. As now all of you are staring at yourselves exactly as as you had been. And I all need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, so this is exactly this is as you had been when you walked in. Yes. Okay, so this is oh, true. Back to modern, normal. Modern, modern, yes. modern, modern, modern. Ten. Yes. I kind of want to fade. Uh, no, I, I don't with a nineteen. Ten. Eighteen. Uh you remain a a youthful a youthful Gideon. You failed this one, so you don't get to go back to your form. Nothing happens to you, Grico. Nothing happens to you, Frost. You're still child Frost. Shit. <laughs> but you do regain your form again, Kremi, as your cane appears in your hand. Ooh. Your top hat is bum, bum, pristine. Bum, bum, bum. Your um it looks like you've just applied your pencil thin mustache. Ooh. That was weird for a second, but I'm back. It came back. See, He's I doing it again. Uh, I told you it was going to come crackly. back. Yeah. The Hall of Crunch. Oh, yeah, Crunch. 
I'm gonna try flipping it. I'm gonna use the rest real quick. See if that works. Okay, seems like it's working. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm back, but none of you are. Yeah, no, I'm still. I feel lady. like we—I was kind of ripped off by this whole of illusions. Well, I mean, maybe you should be less wise. Ever thought about that, Rico? Is that how that works? I mean, in a meta sense, I don't I know. Mean, I mean, I, I, I quite like the illusions that I'm seeing in the mirrors, but the fact that I'm like, oh, it's just me. I mean, you know, it was it's nice for a little bit, but I, you know, at the end of the day, I'm glad I am where I am. I guess. I look around. After, <laughs> getting, <laughs> my <companions>. after <laughs> getting all of our money embezzled by uh, Reynold. His name was Colin first. Oh, I Fuck. keep forgetting his name was Colin. Oh, God, he probably hated me. He was an energy vampire. Oh, <laughs> Colin. Uh, Why did I think more. his name was Reynold? Why did no one correct me? Because it was funny. It was funny. I, I yeah. think I passed him. We ate oatmeal together every single morning. I was like, oh, hey, hey Reynold, how you doing? And no one ever corrected me. <laughs> That's probably why he bezzled so much Go. Probably because of you. He probably hated you. Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to. Hopefully it wasn't because I didn't pay him a few times. <laughs> Out of the way. There were a lot of angry carnies. Anyways. Anyway. Shall we continue? You continue. Okay, continue. young men. Young lads, learn from the follow our Uncle Crummy and Uncle Grico on another world wind adventure. Perhaps you'll return. Yay. And you continue to make your way through, watching your life pass before your eyes as you walk through this this hall of illusions. This is a nightmare. <laughs> and you finally get to what feels like there feels like a, there's a little bit more left of this hall of illusions, but you find yourselves in a circular room with all the mirrors pointing towards you. Oh. You all look into them and you see yourselves in your old age. 90, 100 years old in human equivalency times, however that works for each of your your races. And, and Avantra's most races yeah. are humanish. And you, you stare at yourselves, your skin wrinkled, your hair gray, your bodies hunched uh, from years of carrying just the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I need you all to roll for a wisdom saving throw. Oh, please, God. Please. The DC is higher on this one. Please, no. Fifteen. Grico gets a natural one. Okay. Hootsie gets a twenty-one. We can't twist, can we? Nope. Eleven. Four. Four. Every single one of you feels your body begin to sh to to change. You feel aches and pains in places you didn't even know existed on your body. As your your shoulders hunch, your skin begins to sag, your hair turns gray. It is. It's difficult to stand. Oh, you're God. using your cane oh, to hold yourself up. Okay, Zooks, oh, so no, you're just 36. Hurt. Oh no, my <laughs> everything <laughs> hurts. What? Oh! <laughs> what are you saying? Why are you when you stop shouting, Frosty? <laughs> Hootsie! Are you still doing it? Oh, because you're I'm, still doing it. I'm, ah. I'm Frost. At what? least I still have his cane. Have I told you about the Haradrim? What? <laughs> <laughs> Speak up, Frosty. Frosty Haradrim died uh, a decade ago. Why is everyone whispering? Uh, Haradrim. What? Haradrim. Oh, Galadrums. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I suppose I... Uh, this better not be permanent. Uh, we should all enjoy some ye old fashions, I think. <laughs> well, I yeah. wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> there well, we go. Well, Gadzooks, <laughs> I, f I think I'd like to continue on or get transformed back. <laughs> I think I'd like to uh, take a nap. If uh -huh. I Maybe oh, that sounds good. Early dinner. <laughs> well... <laughs> No, it's it's a little late for dinner already. It's four o'clock <laughs> in the <laughs> afternoon. We, we already oh, missed supper. Oh, we, miss, we miss supper. And we miss the early. Oh no! Special. <laughs> I'm gonna propose shuffleboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. Let's go to the, the displacer beast track. Hmm. Oh. 
I've developed a little <laughs> bit of a gambling habit in me old age. Oh. So what of it? The chairs are so uncomfortable. After I've earned all of me gold from my, from old Raslov, may he rest in peace. Presumably, if we're this old, he must be a spooky skeleton. Guys, I hope I don't make it this long. <laughs> Can't we just go to bingo? Oh, Leopardy oh. is on. <laughs> oh, when I, I go to the tracks, I'm going to put in my teeth. <laughs> 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 oh, the noise! Uh, well, you know I wouldn't mind watching Leopardy. Oh, well. <laughs> I love Leopardy. <laughs> Why don't we just sit down and I think watching Leopardy was Last a lot time less. the contestant lost and he tried to reason with the leopards. <laughs> 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 Uh, what a I goofus! Like oh, we can't miss questions. that. We can't miss that next episode. I keep forgetting the answer in the form of a question. Oh, straight to leopard with you. <laughs> Yeah, Anyways, well. I feel like we should move on at this point. I feel like this bit has kind of run its course. What do y'all think? I feel like this bit has gotten we enough room the, to we, breathe. We've made all the older references that, we could possibly think of. That's, that's not sure. true. I just hope that when we transform back into our old selves, that it cleans the shit out of my pants. <laughs> 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 we proceed. I speak, I say out of character. Mikey says out of character that we proceed. Oh, yeah. We're a circular room of mirrors. Is this is the final. Down the hall. <laughs> There's no hallway. Isn't there? Are we in a circular room? Yeah, you're in a circular There's room. There's always a. A path forward. Yeah, and I you you no you way. move around and you eventually find the place where the mirrors are. Uh, <laughs> a mirror hip. <laughs> Kermy breaks a hip and a mirror, uh, but you eventually the find the opening in the mirrors. And um, do you guys want to proceed it's further? Like, you yes, want to stay yes, in this room? Yes, yes, no, please. Save and us. as you make your way out of this room. You once again see the mirrors lining the hallway, but you feel yourselves return back to your normal forms as the the mirrors that reflect in front of you are of what you should look like in this time on this timeline. There is, however, something different about this space. At the very end of this hallway, there is a much larger gilded mirror. The metal Ooh. that it's made out of is almost like a... Um, uh, Almost like a the the way light shines through a through a crystal prism, uh, as it illuminates with rainbow colors, and you see in front of it, just staring into the mirror, is the halfling man that you saw run in here, and he it sounds like he's talking to someone, and as you make your way further down the hallway, you see that on the opposite side of the mirror there is a small girl dressed in rags a pig mask on her face. As she leans in and motions towards him to come follow her, you see that her spindly arm reaches out of the mirror towards him, reaching for his hand. You listen as it's clear that he's upset as he says, and all I wanted was just to ask her to be my wife. We've been saving up for seven years to come to this carnival. It is tough to get that many gold pieces to come to a place like this and we we've, we've loved each other for so long and i just when i told her that that i had something special i wanted to say when we went to the hall of mirrors so she could see how beautiful she was the way i see her in my eyes i thought it was gonna be the perfect place and then she just starts laughing at me and she just it was awful and i didn't know what to do and i ran in here and it's okay. It's all right. Just come with me. The Hourglass Coven has a place for you. I promise they'll make all your dreams come true. The sadness you feel will go away. They might even make you forget this day. I, I see that you don't have your ticket punched. <gasps> But that's all right. Come on. Do I get with us? Do we get the sense that 
this is not an illusion. It is very clear it is not an illusion. Are we all back to our normal mm-hmm. selves? Hey, gosh, do you feel like um, that that woman is too pig masky and far too arm spindly to be someone that that halfling fellow should follow? Uh, it's in great danger. We it, need to go up. Excuse me, would you kindly please stay away from the gentleman and I cast suggestion on the on the hag? Go ahead. Uh, it's a wiz- I think it's a wisdom saving throw. I don't know if it's a hag. I don't know. Oh, or whatever. It, it could be a servant of a yeah, hag. I mean, some creature. said coven. It passes. Well, if it's a hag, we'll suggest it wouldn't work, right? Step, step back, oh. sir. Step back. You, you're in great danger. Oh, fuck. You watch as he turns to look at you and she reaches up and grabs his face. No, they can't help you. Only we can. And she grabs his hand. Come with me. And he begins to step through the mirror. No, 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 Wait, no, no, no. it was a misunderstanding. She he, still loves you. He stops for just a second and he shakes his head. No, she never loved me. And he steps in through the mirror and you hear a clank as the wedding ring, the engagement ring that he had been carrying hits the floor. As he disappears into the shimmering surface of this prismatic mirror, you watch as this small um, pig-like creature, it looks like a child in rags wearing a pig mask, fully steps into frame and looks at all of you from one to the next to the other. And a big smile appears on the half of her face that is visible beneath the pig mask. Small razor sharp teeth as she looks at you almost with a sense of glee. And she turns and disappears into the shimmering darkness. No, 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 no. I mean, is this some kind of doorway? And I'm gonna run up to the gold mirror and try to like feel around. You feel it and at first it feels almost malleable but then you feel that it begins to harden and that strange shimmering green um, prismatic light that you see behind it. It's like a, um, the best way to describe it is if you if you were looking into a rainbow, but there was almost like a, a murky green film in front of it is kind of what it looks like. A rainbow in a swamp. Um, you see as that begins to fade away and all you see is the reflection of all four of you staring at this mirror. And that is where we'll end the session. (sighs) What I will say is there is a time limit to be able to save him from the mirror that you didn't know. No, it it felt like we failed. What's the time limit, does it say? Um, You have to, um, your characters within three minutes have to enter the uh, Hall of Illusions. And you spent so much time like outside just (laughs) screwing with the mime. Oh yeah, we spent 45 minutes talking talking to Candle Toe. (laughs) Uh, Don't go anywhere. What's next? Avengers and Chill. chill. Derek, tell us more about it. Oh, Avantress and Chill is when we spend our time talking about our favorite moments, theory crafting what's going to happen in the rest of the story, uh, talking to everyone in chat, answering questions, and... Uh, we'll do a few more uh, chuckles, Shades of Grey chuckles readings. Oh, and then no. also we'll get some uh, requests for chuckles if people are interested. In um, yeah, we'll take any requests. Uh, in addition to chuckles, uh, I, I'm always out for a request. Yeah. I'm fine. You know, I'll do it. Uh, This used to be a a sub-only feature. One day that might be restored. Uh, But everyone is invited, so stick with us. It's going to sound like we're leaving because this is where the YouTube video ends. But now we are going to enter the arena of chill. If you are leaving, uh, we'll be back Saturday. Oh my gosh, we have D&D this Saturday? With Beneath Dark Wings. Shit. And then we will be back Wednesday... Wednesday. Wednesday. So we're, we're playing this campaign every single Wednesday, or Wednesday as we're calling it. Our Wednesday uh, campaign. 7.30 p.m. Eastern. So come back and, and uh, continue the story with us. Um, join our Discord. And if you want to see our entire calendar of events, they're all listed out in Discord for the rest of the year. Um, and what else? In the meantime, we have a fuck ton of campaigns that you can enjoy in between all of this biz. Yes. Many, so, many, many, many. Uh, all in Avantress, all canonical. 
the ones yeah. that are publicly available. They're all interconnected. They yeah, all interconnected. Fun little nods. Lore that all ties together. It's going to be years until the next Icebound session. And by that, I mean end of October. Yeah. Because uh, I'm going oh, on yeah. a trip. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Uh, Derek's so it, going it feels, on holiday. Feels, it feels holiday. Yeah, that being said, it will be fun. Holiday. When I get back, I'm going to DM the rest of Icebound speaking only Spanish. Oh. So Ooh. that's going to make it very interesting. Uh, si, I cannot wait. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> <laughs> what was that show from King of the Hill? Anyway, Avengers and Shield Time. We Producer Rick? We're not going to 